What's happening out there to the beloved today? You know what I'm saying? It's another YouTube exclusive. You understand what I'm saying? Today, we're going to be still dealing with them whole ass holidays. Y'all going broke over every month. You know what I'm saying? They make sure they put something in place for y'all every month so y'all can go ahead and file in that death trap. And then y'all make them cheap lies talking about, oh, it's for the kids, it's for the babies. You know, this today, this uh, lecture is going to be on Saturnalia, and it's going to prove without a shadow of a doubt that these damn holidays did not start for children's, you know, game. It might have been commercialized later to deal with kids, but you dealing with some festivals and holidays that's full of orgies and all kind of debauchery. You know, you got, I mean, I'm going to show you pains and Chanel. It's coming straight from the cracker, so I don't want to hear nothing about no, oh, he just going and being uh, biased or pretty. No, it ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? This is day works. This is how they depicted, you know, day holy days. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, and you know, people talk about how, oh, well, Greeks and Romans had high civilization and high, man, if you sent, once I show you what I show, you know, you got babies drinking liquor and shit, you, you, babies playing with goats heads and shit. You got, uh, like I say, orgies taking, in, taking place in front of the kids. See, that's not nothing you need to be teaching your kids. You see what I'm saying? And all of this is stemming back from pagan traditions. So that's what the funny thing about it. And that's why religion does not stand up to the scrutiny of, you know, uh, 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 scholarship. See, because when you put in work, then you got to have some kind of goddamn evidence as to how you came to that conclusion. And a lot of people talk about, like they say, Jesus' birthday was December 25th. See, that doesn't stand up to the test of scrutiny because of the fact that, you know, you got, which we're going to touch on, January 6th is supposed to be, you know, the uh, epiphany of when God is supposed to have been incarnate uh, as man on earth. So that should have been a damn day that is recognized as Jesus' birth because that was a day that they granted the epiphany. OK, and uh, y'all, you know, y'all religious, y'all need to figure out these damn words and these friends because they mean a lot. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, this picture right here back in the backdrop, like I said, it's Saturnalia. OK, it's called Saturnalia, which was a Roman festival, you know, back in the day in which we get we it morphed into after it hit the other pagans, you know, the, the, the Icelandic people, the Yule and the Scandinavian people after the, the Romans went in. And went into Britain and shit, I think in like 40 or 50 AD and start, you know, uh, uh, superimposing they beliefs and everything on the people. You know, then it start, you start seeing different versions of what you see today as Christmas. You know, you see the transformation and involvement of goddamn uh, 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 Santa Claus. Well, they called him Santa Claus at first. Santa Claus. Then, oh, St. Nick. St. Nick was the Catholic version of what they wanted Santa Claus to be. But all they did was just absorb these damn pagan holidays to create the Christmas. Now, let me come on back in here. First and foremost, I got to give a shout out and praise to the ancestors for gracing me with the knowledge that I got for y'all today. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully that y'all go ahead and uh, take this knowledge and spread it on to the next person. Stop participating in this foolishness. You know what I'm saying? Because that's exactly what this is. This is pure foolishness. OK, you know, get reclaim your throne, reclaim your consciousness, your right mind. So you don't fall into the trap of this, this craziness, you know, this commercializing. Y'all understand this shit is dealing with child sacrifice and all kind of other off the wild shit. OK, I want to thank the master teachers, those who are still with us and those who are went, you know, transition on to the next part of, of their journey. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they smiling down on me as I get this this uh, lecture rolling. And hopefully I'm giving y'all some dynamic information, which I know I am. I know you niggas don't know this, okay? I know niggas don't know this. All right, so this is why I'm I'm showing my people because you know things have been hidden from us, and and even though it's in plain view, you know they still hide things from us. You see what I'm saying? So I'm hoping to bring all this shit to light today. Now I'm gonna come on up out here again. So we basing this on Saturday, and and before I get too far ahead of myself. Y'all make sure y'all support the brother, you know what I'm saying? Because I support y'all in every walk of life, you know what I'm saying? This is a this is a symbiotic relationship where it's not no no parasite. I'm eating off of you, or you eating off of me, you know what I'm saying? You know, I support you, you support the brother, and it's gonna be this is a great relationship. You understand what I'm saying? Because too many times we 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 fund the lie. You see what I'm saying? We put our money and our energies towards the lie instead of getting up and and making sure that people understand and supporting the truth. 
See what I'm saying? Because, see, I don't just speak the damn truth. See what I'm saying? And this this lecture, you know, you're going to see a whole lot of, uh, 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 you know, references to demons and shit because that's where a lot of this shit come from, demons. I told y'all, oh, and we're going to deal with that in, in my next lecture because this is a two-part uh, two part lecture on Christmas. Yes, sir, I'm dropping that hot shit today. You know what I'm saying? Two-part lecture on Christmas. One of them is Saturnalia, which is this one, which is the precursor to the Yule Festival. You know, and then it morphs into that Christmas type deal. Now they claim that Christmas was in the Roman uh persuasion. They they fit that in in about 336 or something like that. 336, I think they said was the first, you know, Christmas festival. Even though Christianity was not a state religion until 380 AD after Constantine. So they lost so goddamn much, you know. But I'm just taking, you know, the the information they give from they people. You know, and I'm 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 showing you exclusively how first of all, first and foremost, they be lying. Second of all, how all this shit go together. Because just like in Greek, and we're gonna deal with this, in Greek you got pan, which is half man, half goat. Okay, so you can see the goat veneration, not even from Roman, but farther back in the Greek persuasion. See what I'm saying? And then when you fast forward, you know, you got you got versions of pan in the in the Roman pantheon. See what I'm saying? And then when you go to the Scandinavians and all in the Yule, you got Krampus and and the and, and, and uh I forgot the witch name. I think her name Brilla. Brilla is the witch name in, in Yule. And she got little goat minions and shit that look like Krampus that'll go snatch the kids and shit. See, I tell, this is not no damn holiday and shit for kids. So you can stop those cheap ass lies, man. This shit was it. And man, I'm telling you, from Christmas caroling, y'all don't know what way sailing is. Why y'all go get drunk and shit? See, anything. Listen, when you go back in time, see, this was two two thousand years ago, claiming. So when you see these festivals and shit, or these people doing all of this sickness and orgies and shit with everybody, and then you fast forward to now, and you can see the same sickness. You see the same. Uh, 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 traditions and rituals, you know, Mardi Gras and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? You see the same kind of debauchery that you see in previous times. See, that is the nature of a person. That's why I be so fucking mad at these niggas out here. Man, y'all is trying to, oh, what about, you know, uh, uh, they go kill a little black kid in the street. Oh, well, what about if you had a kid? Just, bitch, they understand that. Shut the fuck up. You know, get man, boss the fuck up, man. You know what I'm saying? You want to cry and bitch and moan and, and throw these old sentimental ass statements out and create these old weak ass, you know, uh, what do they call? Goddamn billboards and flyers and shit with little catchy slogans as if that's going to stop some motherfucking racism. Listen, just like these freaky motherfuckers was back then touching on kids and, and fiddling on kids and killing themselves off because they hate themselves. Bitch, nigga, that, that same energy is going to follow them throughout the millennia because that's their nature. That's the nature of a thing, nigga. You're not going to change a motherfucking cat from sneaking around and, you know, going and handling this business and covering up the, the tracks. See, because that's the nature of a cat. You're not going to stop the nature of a lion if you get your ass in that damn cage with a hungry lion and that motherfucker. You're not going to stop the nature of that lion, my nigga. That is... It, it's embedded. It's a code embedded. So white people that that rape and, and incest and, and, and homosexuality, see, because they were dressing up like women and shit. I'm, I'm touching on all this. See, y'all don't know this about Christmas. Y'all only know about uh December 25th, Jesus' birthday and, and, and Santa Claus coming down the chimney, which is, see, and when you do the research on that, that's some demonic shit. Because they say the demons like Frog Percher, the goddamn witch that'll come cut your stomach open and, and take your intestines out and then put stomp pebbles and goddamn straw in your stomach. See, this is the shit. This ain't shit kids want to hear on no goddamn Christmas. That's what I'm trying to tell you, okay? You need to stop the bullshit and do some re-fucking search, okay? Research the researcher. You see, all these people talking about how, oh, it was a hell, because they even got plays that was back in the 1500s, just like we say now, oh, Christmas 
uh, it used to be a good time of the year. Now it's commercialized. You got to buy, you know, motherfucker. Uh, even back then, the 1500s, when they had plays, they were saying the same thing. So at that time, they were saying Christmas was corrupt. And back in, in prior to 1600, that's when it was good. See, so it's always been an evolution because as the church going, you know, set up shop in different lands and shit, they, they take over and they co-op the different, you know, pagan deities and then they, or, or festivals, they incorporated in theirs and then they superimpose it on the people. That's exactly what the fuck happened. Okay. That's exactly what the fuck happened. So like I said, you got Santa Claus is uh, his and, and, and Bell's nickel. See, they even say Bell's nickel, which was Santa Claus, but you know, a version of Santa Claus over there in, in the Germanic tribes. He even got Bell's nickel who come down the chimney and, and the good kids, he probably, they say he gives something, and then the bad kids he beat the shit out of them and take or take them away. See, you got all kind of crazy shit. You leave them damn milk and cookies outside on for Santa Claus, cause in you them motherfuckers would in South of Navy, they they leave they sacrifice animals and, and and they leave porridge out for the for you know the deities like the frog perch and them. See, so you can see the shit that we do now. They was doing back then. That ain't no coincidence, my nigga. The same thing you doing now. Even Frau Percher, and I'm going to move on after this. Even Frau Percher, okay? That sick-ass witch. See, she, uh, uh, you got to leave her porridge out or she'll come kill you. And then not only that, Frigga, which is, uh, I, I think it's the Viking or one of the Germanic tribe. That's where we get our day Friday from. And she was the the... I don't know if she was a goddess or whatever, but she spin. Okay. That's the same thing Frau Persia do. She spin. And 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 uh Frigga, you know, she supposedly make the clouds and shit. She's a spindler and a spinner. That's the same motherfucking thing Frau Persia do. And if 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 the woman is not weaving and spindling on Christmas, then her ass liable to get killed. If she if the house ain't clean and shit, she liable to get killed. So I'm just showing you how the different goddamn characters, they may paint them different, may give them a little bit of different attributes, but they the same motherfucking characters. Thor, Santa Claus, Odin, all of them is the same motherfucking character. Okay? You know, uh uh Santa Claus ass got eight goddamn reindeer before before uh Rudolph, I think. You see, and then you go to uh, Odin, this motherfucker riding an eight-legged goddamn horse, okay? Uh, Thor is pulled in a goddamn cart uh, pulled by goats. And then you go to Yule, and you see the motherfucking gnome or the dwarf or whatever the fuck it was, the dwarf Santa Claus, the Nisi, and that motherfucker pulling the damn cart with the presents in it by the goddamn goat. So you can see that that goat coming from Pan is is prominent in them crackers culture, okay? And the Pan in that goat is the devil. That's Baphomet. Now Baphomet came way later. I understand, but I'm saying it's showing you the precursors to where you leading up to where the devil is the goat and shit. So this they always been worshiping the goddamn devil, and the reason why it's around, you know, the devil and because it, uh uh on the winter solstice, which is December twenty first through the 25th, okay? Because on the 25th, the sun rises one degree up, sitting on the southern crooks, in the southern crooks, not the northern, the southern crooks, okay? Now, when you in that time of the year, Capricorn, Capri means goat, see? See? So you got the cap, you got the, you got the, the, the month of the goat, and then you got Pan, which is the goat. You got the Baphomet, which is the goat. You got uh, uh Krampus, which is the goat, okay? Thor riding on goats, uh, Nisi is pulling the damn cart with the presents on go before Santa had a sleigh pulled by reindeer. Them goddamn gnomes and dwarves and shit was pulling them damn carts by them goddamn goats. Okay, and then you even got Jewel Bakken, which is a goddamn goat. Well, it's supposed to be some demon that'll come take your kids out and fuck with them in their sleep and shit, all kind of crazy shit. You see what I'm saying? But the Jewel Bakken, they. They have, and you can even see that in Yule festivals today. If you just pull up Jewel Bach and it'll show, but they have a, a a goat mask and they go giving the, the presents to the kid. They scare the shit out of the kids. Some of them give them the presents, some of them just scare the shit out of the goddamn kids. Okay, now I'm moving on. Okay, 
Now, oh, well, you know what? Because I, I, you know, I just got, I was on so, I was on so much fire, goddamn it. I just was so hot. I couldn't even, I forgot. Now, y'all see me rolling banner down there, man. Again, support your brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Support me. And I'm going hard. Like I said, I'm going to be dropping, I'm going to drop by 50 goddamn video before the year is out. Okay, okay. And then when it come down to next year, I'm even going harder. Like I said, I got the website and shit already in the works. I got people want to, you know, see about the merch. I got the merch coming, man. You know what I'm saying? But right now, it's just a lot of things going on. And I got to take, you know, I'm slow rolling. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get ahead on my videos so the family got something to go back to. So, you know, I ain't missing a beat. You know what I'm saying? Once I get them 50 videos up, I'm going towards the next, Uh, you know, and I'm trying to do this IT shit, man, learn that. It's like I said, it's a lot of things going on, but I'm trying to get more prolific for the family. So the cash out down on the rolling banner, you got the email down on the rolling banner. Family, if y'all got some suggestions or anything that we can do to get ourselves out this hole that we in, to stop this foolishness, then y'all hit me up, man, because this is what we need. You know, we need a form for nothing but black people who is geared towards black liberation. I ain't for mankind, bitch. I'm from African kind, and I'm for African kind. All the other shit, y'all can keep that. I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to be with everybody else and this, that, and the third. I don't want it. Okay, if it ain't black liberation, okay, I, I don't need it. You see what I'm saying? We don't. We we don't fell down the rabbit hole too motherfucking long on some other shit. So if you don't have a black dot, if you don't have a dollar to put in a black person's pocket, if you don't have a, a a righteous black cause to to support, goddamn it, just keep your money in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? Because at this late date, goddamn it, it, you know, spending with crackers or anybody else, and, and we see what they uh, what they motives is. It should be a motherfucking sin within the black community. It should be a crime. It should be an abomination. You see what I'm saying? Now, we all got to do what we got to do. Okay, but as, as long as you can keep your money in your motherfucking pocket and keep it from them goddamn vultures, my nigga do that shit. Okay, so, you know, I'm done with that. Uh, you know, the, the, the Patreon coming soon. Patreon coming real soon. So y'all make sure y'all stay locked in, man. Because I'm telling you, it's going to be some exclusive videos. You're not finna get on YouTube. You know, they steady flagging my shit. They steady putting, you know, taking my shit. I fuck them. Fuck them. You know, and it's the white boy platform. So I, I already knew how I'm coming. You know, I'm digging in that motherfucker chest. I'm killing him. So I, I don't I don't expect this motherfucker to, you know, uh, uh, uh respect what the hell I'm doing. See what I'm saying? Because if I had a goddamn platform with black power, the motherfucker get on there talking crazy. You goddamn right you getting your ass up off of there. So I'm already knowing how it come. But at the same time, us being family, we need to make sure that no matter what platform we on, we supporting and getting that information. Hence the Patreon. Hence the motherfucking website. Okay, now back to the, to the lecture. Now, the Catholic Church created Christmas by absorbing and altering pagan holidays. Saturnalia, which is a pagan midwinter festival, okay, and allow early Christians to gradually erase these old pagan holidays. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying a while ago. See, they come in, you see what I'm saying? And then, you know, they absorb your holiday, uh, uh, make it, you know, make your holiday pagan and make your holiday evil and shit when they doing the same motherfucking thing you doing. And once they take and absorb your shit, they just, you know, redo it to where it fit their narrative and their agenda, and then they superimpose it back on you, okay? Now, the Roman Almanac, the chronographer of 354, indicates the first festival was celebrated by the church in Rome in 336 AD, okay? So they say 336 AD. Now, that's right after the goddamn uh, Council of Nicaea. See, you had Council of Nicaea, which is 325, which is just to change Serapis to the Jesus that y'all see now. And it wasn't even Jesus then. That shit was, I think it was still EA. So it might have, no, it might have been, was it? No, because it wasn't no little J to 1600. So y'all niggas talking about your yeah, issue and shit. Man, look, them niggas turned Serapis into Jesus. Okay, that's what it is because prior to that, it was just Serapis worshiping Alexandria. We're no damn Jesus. That's what I'm saying. Even the damn emperor said that the, the followers of Serapis was called the bishops of Christ. Now that's in 200 something BC, you know, 200 BC. You know, that's 200 years before Christ is even born. So how the fuck is this Christians on the planet if the if Jesus I ain't even here yet. That should let you know something. And see, for all you silly motherfucking religious people, I got to thought because, and I, and, you know, I hate to be insensitive, but it's just shit that don't make no damn sense. Okay? I mean, 
How in the hell do you, if the man name had power in it, like you say y'all do, and Jesus is not the man's name, then how the fuck you expect to get power out of calling the wrong damn name? And it, I mean, <laughs> some shit got to click off in your motherfucking head, man. You know what I'm saying? It's got to click off in your head. Now, here you go. The, even And even we done touched on the damn, uh, not the epiphany. What is it called? When they, oh, man. The, not, what, what was this man named? Ptolemy Eucharist. The damn Eucharist. It, I mean, Ptolemy, which was in 300 BC or something like that. Was it 300? When did Alexander come in? Alexander uh, took over Egypt like 332? What was it? 332 BC? Something like that. So three. Th I'm just going to say around 330, circa 330, okay? Around 330. Now, if that's the case, and they was doing the Eucharist with Ptolemy, then how the fuck can you attribute the Eucharist to Jesus who came 300 years later? They was already doing it with Ptolemy in Greek. So that just kills, and, and even in your book, it say Jesus the Christ, not Jesus Christ. So for you niggas thinking that his name was Jesus, you, you niggas is silly, okay? Get up off that pipe, man. Y'all niggas on all these goddamn hallucinogens, and these goddamn LSDs and shit. Man, y'all niggas need to get up off them, them drugs. Get up off that dope, man. Okay? And get your goddamn head wrapped. Think, my nigga. How the... I mean, what are you What are you, What are are you? you trying to tell me? What are you trying to tell me that you niggas is talking about... Oh, my bad, y'all. You know, you niggas is talking about some silly shit about how Jesus was around in this point in time. No, he was not. No, he was not. Okay, he wasn't, and it wasn't no damn pope at this time. And you know, I'm gonna get up off this, but see, in this in this instance, you got you know, you got the pagan Rome, and then you got the Christian Rome, right? So the pagan Rome is the Rome that you know, and that was the big thing about the two splits of the church. You know, the Eastern Church, they said that you know God was, you know, they had their view about Jesus, and then in, in the Roman, the Western Church. They had their view about Jesus. That's why you had all them goddamn councils. The council of Nazi, because Arius, you know, which is funny that Hitler think that Arian mean white people. Okay, Arius was a black man in Alexandria who said, you know, this is a rap. See, there you go. That's a rap. If you look this shit up, they, they weren't talking about Jesus. They were talking about that damn Serapis image. Okay. Now, that Serapis image. Okay, the Serapis image was that uh, Arius was saying, I remember a time when there was no damn Serapis. Okay, and y'all, this is some made up shit. He's he's what did they what did he say? He's uh begotten or well, not begotten? He was formed. You know, this is a goddamn statue that was formed. This man never really existed. So then that was at three eighteen. So they had a couple of councils in Nicaea, but the main one was when Constantine called all them bishops and shit down there. He he did it to set their ass up. Anybody who didn't you know follow through with the way that Constantine and them thought Christianity should go. He killed ass, okay? We're going to kill you, and then we're going to hold another goddamn vote and see how many niggas say no then. That's what that was about. So it wasn't nothing about no Jesus. This was about that goddamn Serapis image, okay? I'm sick of this shit. Y'all need to get up off the peace motherfucking pipe. You niggas want to be Indian. Y'all niggas oh, are too goddamn much. Want to be Indians and shit, and they smoking the wrong herb, okay? Because you niggas is all out there, man. You niggas is all over the motherfucking field when it's common sense. Now, if western part of Rome was up at this time, why in the fuck is all of the damn ecumenical councils, I'm talking about Nicaea, Chalcedon, Ephesus, uh, all the other ones, why in the fuck is they in the eastern part in Byzantine, in Constantinople? See, y'all niggas need to think, if the, if the Roman church was up and operating at the time they say that it was running, why did they not have any ecumenical councils held in Rome? You dumbass niggas. I'm sick of this shit. Now, I, and, and now this is, I got to go to the Bible on this one. See, because you niggas listen in the clip, but I want you to hear from Jeremiah, who was supposed to be a goddamn prophet of God. Okay? I want y'all to hear him and what he had to say about this Christmas tree shit. Okay? Now, some experts say the Christmas tree stems from Saturnalia holiday because Romans would cut down trees to bring them into their homes. And other experts say it goes back further to Christian pagan holidays. See? See? Okay. Now, in Jeremiah 10, 2 and 5, it say, thus says the Lord. Who did it say? Thus says the Lord. 
not some nigga on no street, not your past on the pool pit, not some roll cracker with some kind of goddamn scroll in his hand. It says, thus said the Lord, do not learn the way of the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? Got to do this. Gentiles is the white people. Facts. Go to Genesis 9 and you can read the, uh, you know, the sons of, uh, well, hold on. This is, the, you know, the sons of Noah and all that shit. If you want to, that's your business. But whoever, the kids that came out of JFET, JFET is the white race. That's the European. I got to throw this disclaimer. I don't believe none of this shit. But okay, they wrote this in there, so I'm showing you what it is. So when you niggas calling yourself a gentleman, Nigga, you calling yourself a Gentile, a white boy. That's what I'm saying. You niggas want to be Negro pins. And see, that's the, you just believe it. See, when, when knowledge enter the room, belief ain't even needed no more. Okay? See, that's the thing. You niggas just believing on good faith, believing that the cracker telling you, and he got your ass running up talking about you a goddamn Gentile. And then the Bible would say, Jesus say, don't preach the goddamn word to the Gentiles. Now, and I got a lecture coming up. Is Jesus really here to save everybody? Because he told you he don't, you don't go to them damn Samaritans. You don't go to them goddamn Gentiles. You go to the house of Israel and that's it. So that don't sound like everybody to me. See, you niggas just be shooting flagrant out your goddamn mouth and don't know what the fuck you talking about. Okay. And, and y'all niggas say, oh, well, uh, we cutting down a tree for Christmas and Jesus. Bitch, the, the Bible ain't said nothing about the, the Jesus' birthday being December 20 fucking 5th. They ain't said shit. And that's why they said, that's why Christmas was canceled for a while. Because they said that shit was secular. And they said that it was a commercialized fucking holiday. And not only that, them stories about kids getting ate and shit if you don't buy them clothes and shit. Big Yule cats and shit coming and taking your kid. You know, this is some sick shit. This is not no damn holiday where we need to be giving our energy to. This is not no holy fucking holiday, my nigga. This is a pagan, goddamn demonic holiday is what it is. And you niggas go out there and spend your damn last dollar trying to keep up with the Joneses just for next Christmas. Your ass to be sitting out there on a goddamn curb with a goddamn tent, homeless or some shit. See, we need to stop putting our goddamn money towards this bullshit. Okay, now, it say, do not learn the way of the Gentiles. The way of the, do not learn the way of the Gentiles. They Christmas, they Thanksgiving, they Halloween, the Sam Hang, which I just dropped, you know, uh, Easter's. Don't follow none of that shit. Okay, do not be dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the Gentiles are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are futile. What are the customs? The ways. See, the, the traditions, the, the, the moves that they make. It say the customs of the people. What people? The Gentiles are futile. Nigga, what does it mean when you futile? It don't amount to shit. You might as well not even have done it. If a nigga say, yo, you know, you put in some, but the but the effort is futile, motherfucker, you don't it didn't amount to shit. You ain't, it ain't, it ain't holding no weight. Okay, so this is what God, the Lord, said about the Gentiles. They, they, they are, they customs are futile. They don't mean anything, and that's why I say follow none of the. What do you say? Envy not the oppressor, in which we're gonna. I mean, every holiday like this, envy thou not the oppressor, and follow none of his ways, nigga. You niggas want to follow some of his ways, but then at the end of the day, I'll tell my child follow the Bible, bitch. Shut up. You just y'all niggas just be talking. You talk a good game like you bought that shit, like you really, you know, for this and for, bitch. You just, you, you just a, uh, uh, what is that called? Uh, when them people be, you know, you bitch, you pump faking. I'm gonna just leave it at that. You pump faking, man. Hypocrite. That's what I'm. Use a motherfucking hypocrite. And when you go on that goddamn book, Matthew 24, Jesus tell you these motherfuckers is hypocrites. You know, you go to uh, Matthew seven. You know, these people honor me with their lips, but their heart is the furthest away from me. These bitch ass niggas just sound good. And that's just like anything else. You bitches talking about, oh, pedophile should die. We don't want pedophile. You want you don't want pedophile, but bitch, you 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 want your kids to learn about Zeus, which was a fucking pedophile, raping Ganymede. Let me get back to this. Let me get back to this. Let me come on the podcast. I'm hot. God damn it. I'm hot. Now, the custom of the people are futile for one. Cuts a tree from the forest. Uh oh. The work of the hands of the workman with the axe. Uh oh. They decorated with what? Silver and gold. 
they decorated with silver and gold. I'm going to just say this before, because I'm just, I got to show you how this goddamn book don't make no sense. You know, it just be dope. Now, in one instance, it said, I'd rather have Jesus in silver and gold. But then when you look at when Jesus come back, your, your work is going to be tested of that of silver, gold, and precious metals. What does that mean? It means that if your work amounts to, like the work you've done on this earth amounts to precious metal, silver, gold, it don't burn in a fire. You see, you got to goddamn smelt some goddamn damn gold and shit. You got to get that furnace hot in the motherfucker, okay? But now if you wood, hay, and stubble, if your work on this earth amount to wood, hay, and stubble, wood, hay, and stubble, which sounds a lot like some Christmas time shit, but anyway, you know, but if it's, if it, if it uh, amounts to wood, hay, and stubble, then it burn quick. You know, so it, again, it's futile, don't amount to shit. So in one instance, you comparing the work you're doing to goddamn silver, gold, and shit. But then in another instance, you saying you rather have Jesus than silver and gold. Then these niggas is confused out here. Now they they decorated with silver and gold. You even got the little cracker angel up there. Okay, they fastened it with nails and hammers so that it would not topple. They are upright like a palm tree, and they cannot speak. They must be carried because they cannot go by themselves. Do not be afraid of them, for they can do no evil, nor can they do any good. There you go right there. So you ain't even supposed to be fucking with no goddamn tree, evergreen trees and shit. See, once you understand that that's a symbol of a phallus, a penis, that's what it is. Okay, And then you got the damn the reef. You see the reef? That reef is the vagina. I, I, I can't make this shit up. Okay, you're dealing with some sick people, and when you understand symbolism, niggas put shit in symbols so they can throw it in your fucking face without you even know. Matter of fact, you will go spend good money on your own demise if only they can find a good symbol for it. That's what it is, man. That's what the fuck it is. Okay, now this is the point I was trying to make earlier. You see the three wise men, and this supposed to be the, the nativity scene of Jesus. Okay, that's Mary. You see the the cross and shit behind the halo, whatever. Now, I, again, if Jesus was born December 25th, okay, which is, you know, and that's the birth of God, that's what y'all say, Jesus is God, which is funny to me, but I ain't gonna get into that. If Jesus was born December 25th, why is it that the epiphany, which is the day when God became incarnate on earth, why is it held on January 6th? That's a serious fucking question, family, okay? Do you understand this? It was you change the date of birth, and the thing about this is because we're gonna get into that too. December twenty fifth was, was some pagan god birthdays like Attica, like Mithra, like Krishna. Huh? You see what I'm saying? You got so many different fucking. I think even Zoroaster. I'm don't quote me on Zoroaster, but I even think Zoroaster birthday was on December twenty fifth. And if you can go get a book called. 16 crucified saviors before Christ. Now they went and died. And, and look, and when and I and I got a uh a lecture coming up called, you know, the Jesus as the Greek gods. Because even Adonai or Adonis, okay, uh in his story, that motherfucker got I'm wanna I, I, I wanna say that motherfucker turned into a tree or some shit. And no, no, what it was his mama. That's what it was. His mama had turned into a tree, and uh, and the the, I, the tree split open or something, and then the dinosaurs came out. And so, but but the important thing about that is the myrrh is some in that damn tree somewhere. It was myrrh. See what I'm saying? And when Jesus was born, the three wise men came and gave, gave him uh Francis's gold and myrrh. Okay, you, you see what I'm saying? So even then, you got the you and 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 uh, uh, Adonis. See, Jehovah is the God for the Jews. See what I'm saying? And even some old crazy misguided Christians be calling out Jehovah's name. Now we're gonna talk about Jehovah just for a split second because we talk about Adonis. Now Jehovah, the the Israelites can't say Jehovah throughout. It's only one day after year they can say Jehovah. Okay, but now the the name that they call Jehovah. Any other day is Adonai. Okay. Now, when you look up Adonai in Greek, it translates to Adonis. Okay. Adonis was a damn gay guy. That was a gay guy. He was gay. So, how the fuck is you naming? See, that the, I, 
the Bible written in Greek and shit. You got the Orthodox Church of the East. That's the uh, that's a Greek Orthodox Church. See, that's the that's the slide. Of, niggas talking about Hebrew and all this shit. Nigga, where is the fucking Hebrew at then? Nigga, and I don't want you to show me no shit y'all done cooked up in 15, 1600s. Bitch, show me in BC times, two, three thousand BC, whenever y'all claim Abraham, show me the motherfucking Hebrew goddamn transcripts from Moses, from the, the real, the Hebrews that y'all speak of. I don't want to see no shit y'all done mixed with goddamn uh, Yiddish and, and, and German and, 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 and Arabic. That shit late. That's late. How the fuck you going to mix? Some later dialects to some damn tongues they were speaking two, three thousand years ago. Silly ass niggas, man. Silly shit. And these crackers got child by the silliest them. Now, now January 6th is the epiphany. Okay. Now, Christ date of birth was changed to December 25th, but the Armenian church, shout out to my boy Dom who just left Armenia. The Armenian church still holds the date to be January 6th. For the Christmas, for, for Christ's birthday. Okay. Now, the reason why it was changed to December 25th, okay, that happened from Pope Julius the First. Okay, now some church fathers disagree with the concept of a dated birthday because why they related this to pagan gods. I just told you that. Okay, due to the due to pagans exalting their deities prior to and parallel relating to the personification of one deity, the church decided to make December 25th his B day in order to ease the transition from cults of Mithraism, for example, to Christianity. See, see, you see, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. See, the church is just that's and when you look up Catholic, Catholic just means universal. Why? Because they took every goddamn deity in the universe they could find, co opted it, made a saint out of the shit. And then gave it back to the goddamn people, but they demonized they deity who they had in the first place. See, that's what the Catholic Church was good at, and they still good at it. That's why if you look at the Pope headdress, this motherfucker got headdresses from Babylon to West Africa, uh, from Egypt. This motherfucker got, you know, uh, snakes and shit. That, you know, that's now the snake is supposed to be demonized in Christian and Catholicism. Yet these motherfuckers uh, 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 venerate the snake, the Haga Sophia. That Sophia means snake. Ophi is a, O-P-H-I is, you know, a phrase for snake. So Sophia, with Ophi is, is also wisdom, or Sophia is wisdom. So you see the, you see the word play in the shit. And the Haga Sophia was the first church. So the first church had reference to the snake. Okay, and then they let you know that the snake was not always looked at as bad. It was wisdom, divine. See what I'm saying? Because Sophia is the love of wisdom. So, uh, what is it? Sophia, uh, philosophy. Philosophy is the love of wisdom. My bad. Follow Sophia. Okay, so the love of wisdom. But Sophia is wisdom. You see what I'm saying? All right. So yeah, Pope Julius the first was the one who made December 25th, the, the recognized date, according to them. All right. Now I'm, it's according to them. Cause again, like I say, that wasn't a state religion until 380, but you can see them trying to go into the direction of all the pagans. They making this religion up, they making this Christianity up, but what they have to do is make it universal for everybody who they go conquer to say, Oh, well, you know, that kind of like what we had, you see what I'm saying? So I, you, it just made it easier for them, and we finna get into all that. Now, this is the bath of Diocletian, which was an emperor over there in Rome. See what I'm saying? Now, you can see right there, this motherfucker got Mithra. Mithra is a, a Iranian Persian goddamn deity. Okay? What the fuck is what the fuck is uh Mithra doing in Rome? See, that's what I'm saying. And then not only that. You got the sun right here. This is a uh, soul, which we're going to get on the soul because, see, Saturnalia was leading up until the 25th. See what I'm saying? Which was soul invictus. It was the birthday of the sun. Why? Why was it the birthday of the sun, family? Because after the winter solstice, okay, you let me just break this shit down real quick to you niggas. You got a wheel, right? Matter of fact, that's what you will stand for, wheel. Now, the zodiac wheel. You got the, the highest the sun going to go, the top, which is cancer, 
You got the lowest the sun going to go, which is Capricorn, the goat, which is another reason why they, because these some low ass people. That's why they like fucking with their goat. And, you know, the sun tear their ass up. That's why all the goddamn uh, European festivals and, and holidays and shit, damn near all of them is, is the after the fall, the fall of the sun. See what I'm saying? Because after after you come off that height with cancer, the only place they're going to go is down. So then you get equal again. You got the equinox, which is on March. And what's the, oh, uh, shit. Uh, March, January, February, March, April, May, June. June, June, I think June 21st is the summer solstice. January 21st is the winter solstice. March 21st is the spring solstice. Oh, no, the spring equinox. And God damn it, what? Libra is in, uh, because that's the scales. That's the balance. What is Libra in? Is that in the, what? God damn it, y'all. August, September. I think September. September. I want to say September. If I'm wrong, you know, y'all just it, you look the shit up. I mean, goddamn, look the shit up. But anyway, as the sun is going and you get closer to, you know, uh, uh, November and, you know, to the fall, the sun is falling below the equator. You got the equator, which is the equinox, equal day, equal night, and the sun fall up under. Now, when it hits the bottom, which is Capricorn, when it's in Capricorn, that's the lowest the sun can go. So now, when you go to the solstices in the summer solstice, the sun stops. It look it look like the sun not moving. We move, but it looks like because the tilt of the goddamn Earth that the sun is sitting still for three days. You go to the winter solstice again. Starts on the twenty first, so it's going down by degrees until the twenty first. Once it hit December twenty first, you know what happened? It stays still for three days. That's when you get Jesus in the tomb for three days. Now. On the 25th, it rises up one degree. So the son of God is being born again. That's why it's his birthday. That's the that's what that's all this shit is about. Okay. So you got Soul Invictus over here. Now, then you got Selene, which is the moon. Now she being pulled by bulls. Okay. She being pulled by bulls. And then you got the sun being pulled by the four horses, which should ring the goddamn alarm to you because it's supposed to be four horses in the apocalypse. See what I'm saying? And, you know, even Jesus is supposed to come back on, but I ain't going to get into all of that. All right, now, so you can see, and this is in the National Roman Museum. God damn it, I didn't, and you got, I didn't make none of this shit up. That's in the National Roman Museum right there. So anything you niggas want to find out, you go over there and you find, and, and, and you know what's up, and even on the Roman arches, they even got Mithra on the Roman arches. God damn. See, so that's what we mean when we say these pagan ass emperors and shit. See, when somebody tells you a perfect lie, the truth is unbelievable. Okay? So Diocletian and all of them goddamn Roman, they was pagan. They was pagan. But see, the thing is, when they went to different people's lands, they called they guys pagan. So the people that they went to, they, they guys wasn't pagan in actuality. The pagan gods is actually the Roman gods. See, because the, the people in the, you know, let me let me break this. Nine times out of ten, it was agricultural or, you know, a natural or nature. It wasn't really a deity or no shit like that. But the Roman church or the Romans wanted to make it seem as if what they was doing was evil so they could use that shit so they could manipulate the people. So in actuality, the Romans had pagan gods. The everyday people didn't have no damn pagan god. They had maybe one uh, manifestation of what they call God, and that's what they roll with. And see, so now you'll see the Romans going to places like fucking Ireland and seeing the Celtic gods, and they'll superimpose, you know, what they saint on top of the Celtic god, demonize the Celtic god, and then have the Celtic people uh, you know, and that's why the British, because Britain is a colony of Rome. You got to understand it. OK, that's why the British and the damn Irish had problems when the Irish got over here to America. And we're going to get into that. The, the Molly Maguires and shit dressing up as women. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get there now. See, and then this is the see, this is Saul and Victor's. Now, overlapping Saturnalia was a Roman civil holiday referenced as 
Diaz, Natalis, Solis, and Victus, which is also called the birthday of the unconquerable son. Okay, and that was introduced in 274 CE. So this is before, you know, Christmas and all that other shit. Okay, see, because again, this was all around that uh, winter solstice time. You got to understand that. So you see right here, Saul and Victus with the goddamn four horses. And this is a different. This, and then you see, God damn it, I just never, you see the, uh, like on the Statue of Liberty. You see how that the, the, the motherfucker got them? And that right there, listen now, listen to me. The Statue of Liberty is a pagan goddamn god, uh, Shamash. That's the Shamash from, I want to say that's from Babylon also, okay? If you look up Shamash, okay, and then you see the, the, the and all that is is the rays of the damn sun. That's what it is. So all of this shit, uh, Going back, and you can pinpoint it back to the sun worship. See, didn't and now they talk about eat nigga? Didn't nobody worship the sun and shit more than them damn Europeans? We didn't work, we paid homage, we tried to figure the sun out, and then we created our science depicted on what we found out about the sun. But these people only wanted to, you know, they all they want to do is have orgies and play around and shit. They ain't they ain't got no goddamn knowledge, none now. This is this is key because this is a sarcophagus of uh, Junius Bassus, who was a, a, a Roman politician, and he served on the uh, Constantine. Okay, this is around circa 359 AD in Rome. Now, what's important about this because it was a bridge between old beliefs and a new one, with Jesus taking on the lead role from the Dionysius cult. Okay, Dionysus, Jesus, huh? I'm going to say that again. I'm going to come on in so y'all can feel me. Dionysus. Jesus. And you're going to say, oh, he's just playing with words. But see, Christ turned that water to wine, didn't he? Mm -hmm. You know who uh, Dionysus was? The motherfucking God of wine. Jesus said, I am the I am the vine and the Father is the vine dresser. Hmm? I just told you Dionysus is the God of wine and grapes and shit. Well, how do you make wine, nigga? You got to go to a vineyard, get the goddamn grapes, and then you make the fucking wine. So you see that this, and man, listen, it's so many parallels. And then even Dionysus, huh? Dionysus even got, let me come on up out here. Dionysus even got a baby version of him called Bacchus. See? And we finna, we finna touch on that. But with this right here, see, this shows you that how they was morphing into that Christianity. See, and even right here, you see Jesus, he's stepping on the head of Dionysus. And if you look on the goddamn, the details of the bitch, it got grapes and shit and vine. See, that show you. And even here, you see Adam and Eve, see Jesus riding in on a donkey to, in Jerusalem. Huh? We, you know, when they, when they was venerating them and shit. See, now in Dionysus, See, in order for that, let me, let me, let me get, see, if y'all, if anybody into the Roman shit, I mean, you know, Greek and Roman shit, you'll know Dionysus uh, wasn't a pantheon, I'm not a pantheon, well, yeah, a pantheon, he wasn't a god of the pantheon, but he was the son of Zeus, okay? Now, in order for him to earn his stripes and get up to Olympus, he had to, you know, uh, go through trials and tribulations on earth, you know, he had to go, like, he had to go to Asia, not Asia, India, and, uh, what did he have to do? He had to convert the Indians from them. You know, they call them pagan with the elephant heads and shit. So, you know, they call them pagan. So he was supposed to go over there and and, and convert them to the to the cult of Dionysus or, or Zeus. I don't know what the fuck crazy shit was about that. But anyway, whenever he came back from you know converting them, he came back on a. You know, I don't know if it was on a horse or a donkey or whatever the fuck it was, but he came back in the celebratory just like Jesus. Went into Jerusalem in a celebratory mode. This is the same shit. This is this, uh, listen that this Greek mythology shit is heavy in the Bible, nigga. I can go show you plenty, plenty motherfucking stories uh, where it just uh, the correlation between the Bible stories and the Greek story, Samson and Hercules. I mean, that's a uh, goddamn. It don't get too much more simpler than that. Samson and Hercules, Zeus and and Jesus. Zeus was born and he had to run away because his daddy 
uh, Cronus was eating the goddamn kids, all the kids, because he wanted the power for it. Said he didn't want none of his kids to grow up to be stronger than him or better or take power from him. So he ate all his kids. So Rhea, which is Zeus' mama, had uh, took him to a cave in Crete. That's no different than Jesus having to run from Herod to Egypt because he was they was Herod was trying to kill all the little kids under two. That's the same shit, bro. This is that is the same story, and it's even more parallels. You know, Asclepius and Jesus. Goddamn, uh, man, what's that nigga? Uh, not Achilles. Okay, you, uh, Ulysses. Uh, uh, was it Ulysses or Eudesius? I think it's Eudesius in the Iliad and shit. Yeah, I think it's Odysseus. Odysseus and Jesus. All these people got a goddamn. Uh, I ain't gonna say people because they fake. All these characters. Just like I said, they might have different attributes. They might dress them up, but they the same fucking character, okay? Jesus and Dionysus is the same damn character, okay? You got the, and see, because again, like I said, this is 359. It's still a whole 21 years before Rome, supposedly, would accept Christianity in 380 as a state religion. So, you know, you can see that Christianity was not some kind of thing that was ordained by anybody. This shit was a, 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 a hosh posh and evolved over time of who the Romans could conquer. Whoever they could conquer, they would tweak the goddamn attributes of J J Hey, listen. Just like, and I'm, a, I'm done with it after this. Just like over here in America, you got the slave Bible. Which what they did was take excerpts out of the Bible to keep the slaves in a subservient role. But they never gave them the whole damn Bible, just the shit that they wanted them to follow. That's the same thing. And then you go to the Panare Indians in 1975. I said 1975. The Roman Catholics went down there and fooled with the Panare Indians, and they made a whole Bible, created a whole Bible saying that the Panare Indians killed Jesus. So what the fuck do you think they capable of back then when mother, it wasn't no social media, it wasn't none of that. They could just run up on a goddamn land, you know, soup and whatever, and nobody gonna know. Then it's gonna be like they always worship this God, these saints. Bitch, that is a lie. I'm moving on. Now, this is the the uh this is the festival and shit before Saturnalia. Now, this is Bacchanalia. And see, I told you about Bacchus, which is the baby version of Dionysus. Okay, now. Bacchanalia was introduced by the Greek persuasion. Okay, now listen the reputation of the festivals as orgies. Y'all know what orgies is? Led in 186 BC. Now, this is 186 BC. This is even before the other shit. See, led in 186 BC to a decree of the Roman Senate that banned the Bacchanalia throughout Italy. You can even see a copy of the decree that survives by the Roman historian Levy. And this motherfucker, he, you know, he he tell you about all kind of other shit. Now, I want y'all to study this goddamn picture. This is the this is the shit, the debauchery that I'm talking about. Now, here you go. Now you got kids up here. You know, he macking on the bitch. They naked and shit. See, we're gonna piece this shit together. Now you got these kids naked, you know, that. They probably drunk, okay? You see, you got these motherfuckers here fiddling around and shit. You got this baby that's got a goddamn goat head. See, they're, no, they're like a sheep. That's a sheep head. So you got to separate the goats from the sheep. See, they don't, see, the sheep is represented by the black people. You know, her like lambs wool and shit like that. See, the sheep is represented by the black people. But when you see that goddamn goat her, that see, that goat her and shit, that's them crackers. See, they got that straight shit. See, wool, they got that, you know, they got that coil, just like us. We got that coil. So, I, you know, I'm just, now I'm not saying that you should go out there and think that you a lamb or no sheep or no shit. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about symbology, nigga. So when you see different things, you can see, okay, I'm reading behind us. And when I see the, the man, you know, killing the snake, I can understand that it's coming from the Naga. I see what it's supposed to mean or when they slaying the dragon. See what I'm saying? Because when you look at, where did they get the dragon from? You go to Egypt, they got the snake, and I keep saying, the snake in the goddamn 
the 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 vulture. If you morph a bird and a goddamn snake together, nigga, you got a flying serpent. After time goes on, you can morph the damn fake ass mytholo mythological creature to whatever you want to. So at that point, it become a dragon. You got Quetzalcoatl in Mexico. Then you go to the far east. You got goddamn dragons and shit. You know, and where's the fire coming from? Because that is that those are uh zoomorphic forms of the sun. It's zoomorphic of the sun. So what is the sun? Hot. So this is why the dragon breathe fire. This is this is where it's coming from Africa, my nigga. So I'm showing you the symbolism and what they try to be, they try to trick you. But back to what I was saying on here. Now, you see this the, the goddamn baby with the goat. Got the goddamn goat, man. I mean the sheep head. Dog right there pointed out. Now here, you see, there go the uh the pan. See the artists, they call them, it's either Satyr, which is the, the grandsons of Saturn. See, there you go. And what is Saturn again? Saturn rules Capricorn, which is the goat. So that's why the great the grandsons of Saturn is the goat, because that's the time of the year that it represents. And these motherfuckers, they walk around, they dick be hard all the time. And I'm gonna show you in a look. They they run around raping women and shit. And then Dionysus, Dionysus, he he had a coat and he had women, crazy ass women following him around and shit called uh, the monads or the mean, whatever the fuck they call Menads, monads, god damn it, I don't give a damn. They some crazy ass cracker bitches. That's all I know, and that's all I give a damn about. Okay. These motherfuckers will go around, you know, uh, they drunk all the damn time. They dismembering people and shit. You know, these supposed to be priestesses, though. They killing people. They run around naked and shit. See, they got kids. Look at this. They got kids. All, look at it. Laid out. Matter of fact, God damn it, that's a pan, too. That's a satire, too. So you see, and he, like, he finna, you know, seduce the little, the little baby. That's what I'm saying. See, that's what I'm saying. And look, I'm going to read off to you that Levy said, one of them goddamn priests and shit who started the Bacchanalia, this motherfucker would let any, it didn't matter what age you was, it didn't matter your gender, it didn't matter none of that. You just come out here and get, so you can, I'm going to show you plenty of pictures where the babies and shit is drinking while they drunk, intoxicated. Now, how the fuck is this supposed to be a, a holiday for the babies? And how are you... You know, this is what Christmas started, my nigga. These the basis of these goddamn festivals. See, see, y'all try this is why niggas run around drunk eyes. Y'all run around singing and dancing with Christmas. Y'all giving our gifts. See, because and I'm gonna get into that. Because Saturnalia, and one one of the main things about Saturnalia was the 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 master and the slave traded roles and they they switched gifts. See what I'm saying? So and I mean it, it, that's where these damn Christmas parties and shit come from. See, your, your, your work Christmas party. Pagan. God damn it. Pagan. That's right. I said it. And you can go look this shit up because oh, no, no, you ain't got to look shit up. I'm going to pro prove it to you. I don't demonstrate. That's what's wrong. You niggas is a demon. You, 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 you got your demon straight. You know, you're on demon time. All this shit. I proclaim, nigga. Okay. I don't demonstrate. Okay, I proclaim, nigga, and I, t and I exercise the fucking truth. See, that's why I got to exit, because you uh, like on them damn possession movies and shit. See, you, you got to exercise the goddamn demon. And you niggas believing in Jesus. Jesus done said he's a goddamn demon. He said he's Lucifer. If you look at the last damn page of the Bible in Revelation, Jesus said, I am the, the root and offspring of David. I am the bright and morning sun. Uh, no, I'm the bright and morning star. Morning star is capitalized. Bitch, I was very well educated in English. Nigga, I got to aim the shit. So I know damn well when you capitalize the start of a damn uh, word, that's a proper noun. Person, place, a thing, motherfucker. So when I looked up what the fuck morning star was, that bitch say it's Latin for Lucifer. God damn. See, that's, what I'm, that's why y'all demons, and that's why I got to exercise the truth, because you bitches is demons. Okay, and just like when you get that name right on the motherfucker, see when you uh, you ever see what's that movie, The Rick, and even the other movies, that motherfucker get the calling bezel bub and shit, that goddamn demon to get the shaking and shit, motherfucker. 
the head starts spinning. See, that's because that you you exercising that demon. So now, when I tell the truth on Christmas, I got some motherfuckers that'll go and foam at the goddamn mouth, head get the twisting up, they get the turning back flips and shit, and climbing on walls when I talk bad about their Christmas. They don't know, goddamn it, it ain't nothing better than Charlie Brown Christmas special for but bitch, I'm here. So you can call me the goddamn exorcist. Motherfucker, you can call me. Don't call me no pastor, no priest, because I ain't none of that shit. God damn it. But you call me the exorcist, because I'm exercising the truth on you, ho. All right? Now, back to this. So you got the satires. They over here laid up they, with the with the mean ads and shit. They, they and, and, and now, any other time, trust me, them, them women running away from them goddamn satires and pan and shit. Because they, nigga, pan, gonna, and pan don't give a damn if you a man or woman, because I can show you plenty of fucking Greek vases and, and artifact pan running after the goddamn man and shit Dionysus he's a fucking they say Dionysus like to dress up like a goddamn woman god damn and see and this is what yo Jesus is modeled after a fucking cross dressing uh, crazy ass deity see this is facts you can go look up that Dionysus was a fucking cross dresser and, you, and he and and he and he liked to take on the clothes of women. These is fucking facts, okay? And you know what else? Hear, hear me out. You know what? He was the wandering god, okay? Okay. Now, what did Jesus do? He was just a wandering motherfucker, just wandered from here, there, and everywhere. That I mean, it's the same thing. Dionysus had a goddamn staff. Okay, you see Jesus, the good shepherd, walking with a motherfucking staff. A matter of fact, uh, and see, Jesus is the son also. So when you got Apollo, y'all don't know Apollo is called a good shepherd because when he he did something on Olympus and the motherfucker had to, he, you know, he had to, uh, what was it? He, he had to be a servant to a, a human. And his deed was to watch over the flock. See the sheep and shit. So that's why when you see Jesus, this motherfucker watching over sheep, he's the good shepherd because Apollo was the good shepherd. I, I, you know, I'm not gonna spill all my motherfucking beans, but y'all better get in that motherfucking lecture because that hoe gonna be hot. Okay, you can go to your preacher, your imam, your pastor. I don't give a fuck who you go to. Ain't nobody gonna be able to refute this shit. Okay. It's only so many goddamn coincidences before you say, you know what? These motherfuckers just took this story and made another motherfucker with it. That's it. That's it. That, 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 that's it. Okay. Now, okay, you got motherfuckers playing the flutes and shit, you know, naked. They naked back there, naked. Now, you around kids, man. Got the dogs and shit all playing around. This is ridiculous. Okay. This is ridiculous. Now, if anybody did some shit like this now, them motherfuckers will be locked up, you know, for a very, very, very long time. So they going to the penitentiary. Fuck jail. Them motherfuckers are going to the penitentiary. Okay? And, you know, and like I said, they call this, they call this a uh, classical art. You know, timeless art and shit. My nigga, what kind of art, you know, you got this, you got have goat and have human motherfuckers laid all on kids and shit. You know, like they want, and then she's sitting up there looking at her, yeah, she, you know, this motherfucker drunk with wine and shit. Man, say, that's some sick shit. Okay? I don't care what nobody say. If that's your version of time this goddamn and classical art, motherfucker, you is sick. And then you look at people like Podesta and all these other sick motherfuckers who got these, you know, children art where they in they panties and shit all lined up against the wall with their hands behind their back on their knees and shit. You know, you go to Comet Ping Pong with these crazy, this crazy motherfucking artwork and shit. Well, you know, they pissing in kids' mouth and man, that's some weird. I say, you know what? But see, again, like I say, when you go back a thousand years previous and these motherfuckers is doing the same thing then that they doing now, Motherfucker, it's not by accident. That's their nature. That is that's their nature calling, motherfucker. So you can make as many goddamn excuses as you want for this beast. Next thing you know, your goddamn kid will be somewhere on a goddamn drawing or something. Silly ass niggas, man. All right. Now, this is what I was getting to. 
Now, according to Levy, Pachula Ania corrupted the whole region. Now, I don't know who they I, I don't know if that she was, I guess, some kind of uh political figure. I don't know, but I'm gonna just read this. He wrote about how the, she that's what priestess, how this priestess managed to turn a regular religion religion into a cultic, twisted version of it by bringing the Etruscan events to Rome, which involved nighttime meetings held a few times a month. Most notably, they were open to everyone. Listen, they were open to everyone regardless of age, class, or gender. So that means you can have a two, three-year-old child, like right here, and get, you see this motherfucker crushing the grapes up for wine, representing symbolical wine, and the goddamn kid, look, they intoxicated finna drink it. You got kids all up on each other. This is some very disturbing shit. And you niggas got the audacity to sit here and lie to yourself and these babies talking about this shit is a child's holiday? Something needs to be done with you niggas. I, 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 I'm going to just leave it right there because I don't want my shit getting, you know, you know, having to leave the internet because this is the fucking truth. You, something needs to be done with you niggas, man. What the fuck is wrong with you niggas? Y'all niggas out here, I'm not talking to the beloved, okay? Y'all know I'm the gatekeeper, baby. When I go off my, I'm talking about these niggas who make it hard for us to, 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 pro, to, to, uh, wait, to exercise this truth. You see, to make excuses for this cracker and his sick fucking, them the motherfuckers we need to do something about. This shit is, listen, there is no way to explain this. There is no way to make this shit all right. Okay. You got the men dancing all over here with men and women. You got this, look at, look at Pan. See, they're going to pay and get, they even got a goddamn statue of them right there. See, they let you know that they venerate that energy. That's what they like. And see, like what I say, see him trying to, he finna trying to rape the damn woman. And she finna go right upside his goddamn head. That's right. She finna go right upside his goddamn head. You see what I'm saying? And it look like this motherfucker trying to stop him. So I don't know. You know, it's just some weird shit going on. But that's what really got, and then right here, you got the baby so goddamn drunk. They naked all on the goddamn ground. Naked men and naked women just frolicking around. You see, see, Saturnalia, that was like spring break. That was like spring break and girls gone wild. And that's exactly what that was like. Y'all thinking it was about singing Christmas carols and coming together. Nigga, they weren't talking about, yeah, they were coming together all right. The niggas was coming together on some freaky shit. See, that's why, you know, y'all niggas be trying to go out there, oh, we can party together. Nah, man, well, you can party like a rock star, like a white boy if you want to. Now, I ain't saying around certain times of the year or whatever, get together with your family, your people. Yes, we, nigga, we asking. That's what we do. See what I'm saying? We can get together and then have a good time without trying to have kids drink liquor and shit with, uh, without bringing animals into the equation. See, but when you over there with them crackers, see, they, they go up a whole nother way. See, they go up a whole nother way, okay? These motherfuckers is something serious. All right, now, the festivals weren't just appealing to a certain group of people either. The influence of the cult went all the way up to Rome's highest class of citizens. And I have to say this. Now, I know it says something about the Etruscans right here, and I got me a lecture on the Etruscans. Now, these ain't the same Etruscans that I'm talking about. This is the white influence coming out of the Etruscan area that went up there to... to Italy to you know produce this bullshit. I, I mean, hey, that's just what it is. They they did that, okay. However, these meetings had a very dark side. Livy tells a story about how Ania got her own sons involved and how the new initiations weren't just sexual; they were sexually violent. They were even a council of, of bacchanalia victims screaming in pain, only to be drowned out by deafening noise. Of symbols and they out there raping kids and doing out. Listen, I'm trying to tell you now. This is coming from they goddamn accounts. You go now, look, because niggas will say, Oh, I don't know if that's true. Bitch, I can't make up Levy and his goddamn work. So if you think that what I'm saying is fake, you know the names of the people, go look up his fucking books. Go look up the Bacchanalia. Just I got see that's what I'm saying. You niggas is so smart on some shit. I you claim you're so smart. Nigga, it don't take a rocket science to figure some shit out. Bitch, all you got to do is go to Google, type in this man named Levy and Bacchanalia book, 
And if the shit exists, somewhere along that search panel, you will see what the fuck you got to go purchase to see if I'm lying or not. Until then, you niggas don't, y'all just niggas, y'all so lazy. You niggas is lazy and just feeble minded. God damn, my nigga, if somebody wanted, if you want them new shoes, I bet your ass, your bitch ass will find out how to get the new shoes. I know, I bet you'll find the website then. If you want to go trick off on a little female or something and you want to figure out what, bitch, you'll find out then. But when it come down to your liberation, you need motherfuckers to just give you everything. Bitch, I'm not finna give you everything. Get your get off your lazy motherfucking ass and go do it yourself, nigga. Okay, now. There was no oppose in the religion either. Priests and initiates of the religion were known to break civil, moral, and religious laws without fear of being punished. On top of that, anyone who resisted the cult or betrayed them in some way was simply disposed of without thought. See, and, and listen. When you go look at the story of Dionysus, that sounds just like him. Now he had, a, I forgot that. King, well, he had went back to his the place of his mother's birth or whatever shit like that, and he was talking about how he was a, the son of a god and how Zeus had him and this, that, and third. And his his mama's sisters, you know, was hating on him and was talking about how he. So they chased Dionysus and the king. You know, I forgot the king name. I be watching that Greek shit. So I, but these crazy at night, I don't be keeping up with that. But anyway, it was a king that forced Dionysus out and they threw rocks and shot arrows and shit at him. So he went back to the mountains, depleted. And that night, he went, uh, listen now, that night he transformed into, I don't know if it was a woman. Oh, no, it was the priest. It was the king priest and said that the, the women and shit of the town was out in the woods dancing and drinking and shit and they was having the time and he needed to come see it. so the king dressed up as a woman went out to the woods bottom line uh uh the women recognized you know the man and they got stark raving they drunk and shit and even the motherfucking king's mama they killed it now far before they killed him they ripped his ass in pieces the mama took his goddamn head off and threw it in the ocean and shit because she was just drunk and she thought they say she thought it was a lion. I don't know how the fuck you get that drunk. You think a human a lion, but that, that boy Dionysus must have had some powerful shit. He must have had some powerful shit, but that's neither here nor there. But I'm just showing you that, that some of these goddamn Greek stories just might be based on reality. Okay, the, the, you know, they talking about they dispose of without it. What you think dispose of? They, they killed the motherfucker. Okay, okay, now one ex member spoke out a prostitute named his father for I don't you whatever or his father who was an ex initiate told the consul Postum, uh, Postumius everything because she was afraid for her clients and her own protege. He went to the Roman Senate with it, citing the cult as a national emergency that needed to be dealt with. When all was said and done, the code was suppressed throughout Italy and forced forced to reform. See, see, they reformed it. So now that's the Bacchanalia. Then you got Saturnalia. See, that's what they mean when they say reform. I want you to know. See, this shit. So all they did was use it to their game. Okay, now we finna throw some parameters on it, throw a date on it, goddamn it, put some some shit they can buy. So now when you do it, yeah, you can celebrate you want, goddamn it. Your ass going to be in jail if you go too goddamn far giving us money. Or your ass going to be out there on the street acting a fool, you know, buying the drinks or whatever the case. Either way, we win. See? So because they still was, you know, this shit still went on throughout Italy now. See, this shit still went on. That's what I'm saying. You got you see them dancing and drinking, and then it morphed into what? The Saturnalia. Saturnalia, you dancing and drinking and orgies and shit. And then we finna go. See, I'm I'm giving you the 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 ancient, you know, uh backdrop of it. So when we come up to speed on it, you can see how that Christmas caroling and this shit they call way sailing, which is getting drunk out your goddamn mind and going to do crazy shit. See, and even what is that shit called? Mummery. Mum mummer. Them motherfuckers will go knock on the see, it wasn't always motherfuckers coming and sing no Christmas carol. These motherfuckers in the 1700s was out there, you know, damn near knock your goddamn dough down, begging for money and food. See, that's why they had to cancel that goddamn Christmas after a while. You niggas need to do some research, man. God damn. Now again, you see, goddamn it, it's just a it's a standard. Naked ass people. You see, it's like a man. Is that a man and a man? Man, there might be two men back there. 
ass naked. You know, he bending over. Lord knows what's going to happen. Okay, let me come out of here. Then again, what you got? You got the babies playing with that goddamn goat. See, and look, now he got, now that's, that Bacchus be having this damn reef on his head. So for you niggas talking about, you know, y'all be on Snapchat and shit. Okay, y'all be on Snapchat and all these things. Y'all put them filters with the, nigga, that's a gay god, nigga. You niggas is weak. Okay, and even the feet, I know y'all thinking that that shit mean that y'all, one with nature. No, it does not. That does not mean you won't. You need to take that shit off as soon as possible. Right now. That shit got some pagan, uh, homophobic, and you know, I wouldn't even want to be in the same bracket as some shit that got drunk kids, you know, naked motherfucking kids, you know, with animals and shit. They all laid out with animals. You got the baby right here, right next to this naked ass motherfucking woman and this naked ass motherfucking man. You got him Laid out with the, the wine in front of him. Boy, how the fuck do you... How, I mean, how is it that this shit was... Well, no, fuck that was. How the fuck is niggas still learning about this shit? Why is this not... After this, bro, Greek culture should be uh canceled. It should be... After you figure some shit like that, bro, Greek culture, Roman all that should be canceled because it's Greco-Roman. So, goddamn it. The Greeks and the Romans is in the same boat. They all crackers to me. Okay? This is very disturbing. And you mean to tell me that you talk about voodoo, you know, you can talk about everybody else's culture. And you don't see nothing wrong with this Greek shit? You niggas will go so far as to call yourself Greek, you know, frat, I don't, uh, frats and sorority. Man, what the fuck is wrong with niggas, man? Did they teach y'all this in the Greek when y'all was going through for y'all start stepping this shit, I know all you niggas are, the only reason why you want to be in this shit, because you know, you think you got some kind of, you know, some uh, exclusivity or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Half the niggas in that motherfucker is uh, feminine in the bitch. You niggas want to dance all goddamn day. I, you know, this shit is disturbing, my nigga, okay? And for anybody who want that small bitch, you just hit me, I, I don't run from shit. I don't give a goddamn how many fracks you got, bitch. I got, I got what I need. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that because I want my shit to stay on the guy. But motherfucker, don't ever think you're going to pump me out of shit. Okay, I'm calling an ace an ace and a spade a spade. Bitch, I don't see not one black person in this Greek fucking festival. Okay, you niggas is out of fucking pocket, man. Niggas is out of pocket. Okay, the same energy that you giving this Greek shit, you could have formulated your own African fucking brotherhood, sisterhood, been getting money and doing everything else that you're doing for these crackers. Because at the end of the motherfucking day, your money is not going to no black people. Your money's going back to the chapter. Who created the chapter? Crackers. Nigga, fuck out of here, man. Y'all niggas is weak. Oh, God, bro. I, I, you know, there's some cool people out there that, you know, you might be on that Greek shit, and you just probably didn't know. Okay, you probably, did, but if nigga, if you know now, I advise you to get your monkey ass out that shit as soon as possible. Okay, did they show you about the drunk babies? Did they show you about the goddamn goats and shit? Huh? Seducing the baby? Did they show you the Pied Piper? We finna get into that. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm got, you know, because, goddamn, man, I'm, I always hit the wrong damn thing. Hold on, family. Every damn time. I done got too turned up. You see what I'm saying? I just done got too turned up. Because I'm, I'm hot right now, man. I'm hot. Y'all niggas want to be everything other than African people. See, the, that's the detriment. But see me, I'm going to make you proud to be an African today. Nigga, I'm going to make you proud today. You understand what I'm saying? Now, y'all watch me where I'm, I'm, I'm going to work in real time. God damn, come on. See, but, you know, this is detrimental. I, I hope y'all, I mean, you know, I, we playing around and we talk, but I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. This shit is detrimental to our well-being, to our mental, to our spiritual, to everything. We can't go around worshiping no goddamn goat deities and shit, okay? We can't go around talking about how Rome and Greece was the epitome and the light of the goddamn world and these motherfuckers fooling with babies and having sexual, violent, you know, initiations with kids. God damn. Talk about the motherfuckers say it don't even matter how old you is. You hear me? Don't even matter how old you is. Don't matter your gender, your class. Come one, come all. Pull up to the freak fist. God damn.
Okay, now this is again a version. It's showing you this bacchanalia shit. Okay, now what's another? What's another? Uh, what's the synonym for bacchanalia? A drunken orgy. This is what it say. This is what bacchanalia. A drunken orgy, which is pretty much a useless word because it is usually. I mean, it is easily understood that an orgy has to have some form of what alcohol to get from standing around doing nothing to suddenly having an orgy. Now. Bacchanalia, Bacchus. Bacchus is the damn god of wine, intoxication. So now you see what Bacchanalia coming with the orgy because they say it, you got to have some wine to start having some orgies. See? So that's why they was one of their best guys. And that's why when you go to this, that Jeep, man, listen, man, once I'm a, I know niggas is, is far away from understanding exactly and really what this Bible and these characters mean. But once you understand this shit, man, say, you liable to throw that bitch, that goddamn book in a goddamn bonfire or something. This shit is some real life, just, I mean, I don't even know the word. This shit is real life sick. We got, I mean, you you dealing with some, some demons, some spooks. I, and nigga, you know, they try to scare you with different, uh, you know, they probably a monster with different features, you know, human features and, and, and animal feet. My nigga, let me tell you, the real monsters is dressed up in, in suits and ties and shit. Nigga, that's the scariest fucking sight you, we will ever see. A cracker in some suit. And because these motherfuckers is the ones that's doing all of this deviant shit. See, they got them sex brothels and shit, and up there in New York, like I told you, I, I, I met in, in class in school when I was at UNT. Nigga uh, was in a sociology class. Man, they got that BDSM shit with these lawyers, doctors, and and physicians, and all of these nigga, and and, 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 and congressmen and shit. These motherfuckers want to go into these these sick places and and get diapers put on them, hit with paddles, put uh, what's that shit? You know how you them. You know how you get your clothes and you put that that pin. You know how you got that line right outside. What the hell is that shit? Uh, not a bobby pin. A co I guess it's a clothes pin. And you put your clothes on that pin so it'll hang up on that line to dry. See what I'm saying? They 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 they, they put them little pins on their nipples and get a little light torture and shit. They could be burnt. The women were burning cigarettes on them and they like that shit. Okay, walking them around like a dog. They barking. Man, these niggas are sick. So that's what I'm saying. The, this ain't nothing new. They've been doing this shit. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, now, standing for, however, if you want to sound intellectual, using this will probably boost you up. Bacchanalia. That's what, that, that's what will boost you up because it's synonymous with drunken orgy. Damn. Now, see, that's what I'm saying. You see them, you see them, uh, the satires, the, the pan and shit. See, see the, see the, the hooves. See him carrying a woman. She trying to reach back and, Get away from his ass. She, uh, he, not, nah, bitch, you coming with me tonight? You see her? She trying to get away. He, he done took her. See, this is where this shit stem from, man. This is where this shit stem from. A old crazy, perverted sexual orgy a festival. See, and you know, and that's where these masquerades and shit come from. And over there in France and shit, you know, you got the masquerade, and then over here in Mardi Gras because the French was the one who took Mardi Gras over. Now listen. I know I got some people from Louisiana. Y'all don't want to. I don't give a shit. I got to tell you the goddamn truth. When you go take your ass to Mardi Gras and they have like the crew of Comus. See, that's and Comus is another intoxicant baby and shit. Or, and you know how what I'm trying to say. Oh, freaky Greek God. Now, the, the crew is spelled with a K. See? The crew is spelled with a K. Now, the first couple people that put together them goddamn crews was the KKK, Albert Pike and them. This is facts. And that's why when you go to Mardi Gras right now, you see the mystic crews and shit. They look like the guy, they got the goddamn headpiece of the goddamn KKK. If I'm lying, I'm done. Prove me wrong, bitch. Just like when you take your ass down there and the crew of comics, the mystic crew of this, that, and the third, them motherfuckers be having them damn clan hoods on because of the mask for that, because it, 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 uh, uh, festival of fools and the murmurs. I'm finna get on that. 
where they put the mask on and shit and come to your house. This is the shit that they getting this from. So you basing your holy Jesus fired Christmas. And listen, Jesus is not the God of fucking Christmas. Santa Claus is. Facts. And then when I put my Yule shit up, you will see it say God Yule. And that's where you get jolly from. Okay? So and you take your kids on Christmas to church and don't have them goddamn presents. Your ass gonna be the next sacrifice. Them kids probably tear your ass up. They're not trying to hear a goddamn thing about no Jesus. They're not here trying to hear shit about no church. They want them goddamn presents. And let behold, if you let them motherfuckers play with them presents all day, that's what they gonna do. They ain't worried about no goddamn Jesus. Okay? That they're not worried about no damn Jesus. All right. So you need to understand that 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 masquerade and shit was a more version of what was happening in Christmas and Yule time with the damn mummer, the masquerade and all of this shit. OK. Now, see, see, we, we dealing with this. I got to deal with this with y'all. So now y'all know the Pied Piper. And if y'all don't know the story, which is R. Kelly, you know, See, that's why we gotta we gotta get away from any all these Negro pins. Okay. You got you got uh R. Kelly calling himself the goddamn Pied Piper. Now, if you don't know about the the Pied Piper of Hamlin, which was in Germany, and look, all of this shit, these crazy stories and shit, all this shit is coming from German people. Okay? German people. Rome was sacked by the Germans. Okay, so you know any so all this Baca and all of this Yule shit and these goats and that shit is that's coming from German folk. Now, the Piper of Hamlin, him, the Pied Piper of Hamlin. What his story? This is the story of it. Now, you know the story is that uh the the jerk because you know they had that bubonic plague and shit. Them rats was tearing them crackers up. So they hired this man to. Draw the goddamn rats and shit, and all you know, and 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 and, and do away with them. Okay, now when he did that, the the mayor of the town didn't pay him what he what he was supposed to pay. You know, he ain't pay like he weighed. So the piper said, "Okay, bitch, I got something for you." What he did was he he took his damn flute out again and started playing it, and the goddamn kids followed him. Now the rats, when the rats followed him, he he. Uh, led them to the river, some shit, and they, you know, drowned out of them. Which, I'm, you know, I'm not because it sounds just like the story of Jesus that that the demons went out the goddamn people into the pigs, and then the pigs went into the river or the, or the sea. But I, I, you know, okay. So now they say that the the kids, you know, they they was never seen again, and this, that, and the third, and, and all that shit. Now, when you go to Pan, okay, what do you see Pan doing? Playing the goddamn flute, okay, and it's more than one picture or, 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 or statue of him doing it, and they got a big. This I think this over. I don't know if this is in. It might be over there in Italy or something. So I don't know. But point being is, you see that that Pied Piper shit luring the kids. Because what, what now? We got to make a point, y'all. Listen, okay, the goat Capricorn is around Christmas time. You try to say that Christmas is for the kids. So you see when Pan playing that goddamn flute is luring the kids in. See, and then you go sit your goddamn, cause look, Krampus, which was the goat, was the dark side of Santa Claus. So Krampus and Santa Claus are the same person. Krampus is, is Santa Claus shadow. So when you look at the Pied Piper, the goat, which is another version of Pan being Krampus. You see him playing the flute around Christmas time. He is the alternate version of Santa Claus. So when you go sit your kids in Santa Claus' lap, motherfucker, that is a version of child sacrifice. Facts. Kronos ate his kids. Kronos is Saturn. Okay, Kronos in Greek is, is Saturn in Rome. See? So Saturn and Kronos is the same. Saturn rule uh Capricorn, which is in Christmas. You listening to me? Okay. So you got Saturn ruling uh uh uh, uh Christmas time, and Saturn is also Cronus. Cronus ate his children. Now, when you look at Saturn, okay, Saturn is an anagram for Satan. 
When you look up old Nick, old Saint Nick, it tell you in the Webster's Dictionary, old Saint Nick is another word for the devil or Satan. So when you go sit your motherfucking kids on that sick peck of wood lap, your ass is just fucking your kids over symbolically for child sacrifice. I'm talking to you, bitch. I'm and you go do your research. Goddamn it, prove me wrong. Okay, Santa is set. Set. I'm sorry. Santa is Satan, which is Saturn, which is Cronus, which is the Cap, which is the planet that rules Capricorn. Capricorn being a goat. The goat being another version of Krampus and Pan, okay? And then Krampus being the goddamn shadow of uh, of old Saint Nick or Santa Claus, the devil, Satan. So, again, I'm exercising these demons out you niggas, man. Nigga, I'm the best doing this shit, man. Y'all niggas, y'all, you know, you're not getting this nowhere else. I promise you that. You saw, But I'm giving you this information because it's yours to have. Now... The and I'm, I broke this. Down. The piper is really symbolic of the goat because Christmas Saturnalia or Yule was celebrated at the time of the winter solstice in Capricorn, the goat, which is ruled by the planet Saturn. Also, the correlation between children and Santa Claus. I done ran through that. I'm not going through that no more. Okay. Then see, this is the main reason why I'm about revolution. I'm not about rebellion. God damn it. I, you know. I, you know. This y'all niggas need to stop this shit. Okay, and see y'all see the potential. Yeah, but you see the potential of uh, 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 Christmas and the, the the good morals that come out of it. But bitch, you can't go off the potential. You got to go with the reality. Don't fall in love with the potential. Get real with the reality, nigga. The reality of it is, this is some pagan demon shit. That's what it is. Okay, I'm moving on now. This is a bucket. So uh, see, that's why I tell you that reef on his head. See the reef on his head. That's bucket right there. That's Bacchus right there. So when you seen that other picture, you know, with the kid fucking with that goat and shit, and he had that reef on his head, that's Bacchus. Okay, a little kid. He always, look, he got wine. He pissing out the wine. You see the, the, the vines. Okay, symbolic of who? Symbolic of who? Well, depending on what religion you in. It could be Jesus, who was the, the vine, and his father, the vine dresser. If you in Rome and Greece, it could be Dionysus or Bacchus. See what I'm saying? It just depends on who the, where the fuck you with. But the main thing is that all of this shit is piggybacking off each other. So Jesus is Bacchus, is Dionysus. Bacchus, Jesus, Dionysus. God damn it, man. Damn. Now, Bacchus is also Dionysus, which is the god of wine, but he is depicted as a baby or a young child intoxicated with a wreath of flowers. And I had to say it to you again. That does not mean you are one with nature, nigga. Some sick shit, okay, around his head. Where the concept of Catholic baby Jesus and Christian older Jesus come from. What do you mean, Cliff? God damn it. When you look at, this is Jesus. This is Mary, okay? You see him hiding under the veil. And then because he's hiding the fact that, God damn it, he died nieces. Because they go to grapes. Mary feeding them grapes. That's that listen, that's that's baby Bacchus. That's baby Dionysus. Okay? But it but they done morphed it. Just like I showed you, they morphed it into Jesus. See? But that wasn't they got they got the concept of the baby Jesus. That's why in Catholic you don't really see no groans. You see the baby Jesus. They worship the baby Jesus, see? Because that come out of that Roman cult, that Dionysian, Bacchus cult. And that's why they out there kissing them babies all on the mouth. Because they remind them of their freaky lineage. Okay, and then you got another one here. You see baby Jesus, you see Mary right there. She got the weed in her Is that weed? Yeah, she got the weed in her hand. Okay, and then you see the, which, is, well, I'm not going to get into that. Yeah, and you see her reaching for the goddamn grapes. I mean, uh, nigga, that's. I mean, there is no, <laughs> listen, there, it ain't nothing in the world you're going to tell me that made me feel like this shit just all happens as a coincidence. Because I'm going to tell you, you can coincidentally get the fuck up out of my face. Nigga, you, 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 you're delusional. What it is, is cognitive dissonance sitting. You don't want to believe it. You see it. You know it. You can't refute it. But you just, come, well, I just believe. Well, bitch, if you just, 
we don't even need to be really talking if all you're doing is believing because you can be a dangerous person on just belief. See, if you basing everything that you do in your motives off of belief, you was a not on you dangerous because you ignorant. Okay, you dangerous because you ignorant. You need to know what the fuck you are. You know, dedicating your life to you dedicating your life to a demonic and orgy, uh, uh, orgy based gods and shit, and and orgy based festivals. You basing your hollow just like Halloween. You got that in the Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Motherfucker, how the fuck you got Halloween? You say God's name is hollow, or the Lord's name is hallowed, and these motherfuckers is dressing up like a goddamn devil. So is the, but, and that makes sense. The devil is your motherfucking God. If you going off that book and dealing with all this sick shit with your nigga, the devil is your goddamn God. Bottom line. And I don't care. Oh, it doesn't say in the Bible. The Bible says God. Bitch, Dionysus is the God of wine. Zeus is the God of thunder. You know, Hades is the God of... The, so the God of what, bitch? You can't just say God, God of what? Okay? You got Kratos, the God of war. Uh, uh, Athena, the God of, you know, strategy, warfare, this, that. So, I mean, you just saying you believe in God, bitch. Which one? Which one? Because you had different gods in different sectors of life. Sick of this shit. Y'all niggas got to make it make fucking sense to me, all right? Because this is ridiculous. Now, this is another, this is, listen. <laughs> now, this is a drink, and they call it the Le Infant Jesus. This is a, so you, man, listen, this is a wine, a red burgundy wine in France. I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? Bach is turning water in the, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Bach is being the god of wine. Dionysus is the god of wine. Now they got a goddamn wine with baby Jesus. Well, what's the you see, baby G? This is what I'm saying. Baby Jesus right there. That's another form of fucking Bacchus. See? So that's why they got the wine with him right here. Baby Jesus with the fucking wine. He's Bacchus. Okay, it's no different. This right here is no different from this right here. See him got the wine right here. He got the as a child. So when you fast forward, all they did was co-op pagan gods and they attributes and put it in another fucking character who y'all call Jesus. Sick of this shit. Sick of this shit. And you see right here. And now listen, y'all. Who the fuck would give a baby a goddamn chalice with some goddamn wine in it? This motherfucker Jesus always is a baby. And they call him Little Bambino. They all, he always got the chalice with the wine in it. Okay? What, what, I mean, what is that about? What is that about? Unless, unless God, I'm sorry, unless Jesus is the God of wine. Huh? huh? And you got the communion, the Eucharist, uh, what was it, Eucharist, huh? Which is... Drinking the blood, which is wine. <laughs> Y'all niggas go, first Sunday, you go drink the blood, which is wine, and you eat the body. Even though that's on some old vampire and, and cannibalistic shit, I'm, I'm not even going to, you know, I'm going to leave that part alone. The main part I want to get to you is there is no refuting that this motherfucker, they got a whole wine and shit because they know, they know Jesus is another form of Dionysus. He is another form of a wine deity, a harvest deity. God damn. This shit, I mean, it don't get no clearer than this. Now, now we're going to get into what I was talking about earlier. This is the, marm, the, the mummy. They call it mummy. And what that is, is, and you know, they go dress up and, you know, like a, they dress up like a woman or like a goddamn or any one of these other crazy ass creatures. And they go walk up to people doors. See, now listen, mumming means making diversion in the skies. And they do shit, that's still going on right now. Still going on right now. Okay? Because I'm gonna tell you like this right here. It was a point in time where nigga, you didn't know if it was Christmas, Halloween, yeah, New Year, because they all this they all dressed up in crazy shit like women or or, or monsters and shit, even on Christmas. Not only in Halloween, even on so nigga, all of these motherfucking festivals was a, a shit. They look damn near the same, okay? They look damn near the same. But in in 
in this instance. So that's why they call Halloween the gay Christmas. Oh, you didn't know that. Don't worry about it. Go check out my damn lecture, Sam Hain, and I break all that down for. They call Halloween the gay Christmas. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Now, the tradition was that men and women would swap clothes, okay? The leader of the mama was dressed as Father Christmas. Okay, and the custom goes back to Roman times. See? They just, the, you, you got the head of these old freaky ass, and then they go sing wonton songs. Now, wonton mean, you know, you out there just talking sexual and shit. See, that's where the, the, that's where the basis of this damn Christmas caroling and shit come from. Niggas run all off in your house and shit. You know, they, they even said that they get to the point where they begging for money and food. And I'm not talking about they begging for your best shit. They ain't just want nigga. They demanding yo. And if you don't, they break down your doors. They come in your house shooting dice all in your house. They fuck up with blinds and shit. They just come to fuck all kind of shit up. Okay? See, this is where you... So I don't want no motherfucker knocking on my door Christmas caroling for shit. I'm tell you, but go on the next door with that shit, man. I don't want that here. Okay? I don't like that energy. Now, this is uh, an extension of it. Now, the Molly Maguire's they was a, a, a sect out of Ireland, okay? And that's what I was saying that, you know, and uh, you had the British, okay? Uh, you had the British that went over there in Ireland and you, know, you got Newfoundland and shit where the English went and set up shop over there, okay? So you had a discourse between the Irish and the damn Britain even back then. But when you fast forward to when they got, they took their ass to Pittsburgh because it were like a million motherfucking Irish immigrants after that goddamn potato family. And let me just speak on that real quick. Now, I don't know no motherfucking people with just one goddamn uh, a dish or a damn, you know, they only got one food to eat. So you mean to tell me these motherfuckers only eating potatoes over there? That's the whole reason of the fa Motherfucker, listen, I know how to make, you know, goddamn, my nigga, my nigga make pancakes, a nigga can make anything. You mean to tell me that the only thing these crackers got over there is some goddamn potatoes? That's it. And the potato... Ain't even native to Ireland. They got them motherfucking potatoes from the Americas. Okay. The the the, the Indians and shit in the Americas was the ones who showed them about all them different kind of goddamn potatoes. And for a few generations, the potato grew in Ireland. But after that, and then you talking about Irish bitch, ain't no goddamn Irish potato, bitch. Y'all need to stop this this madness, man. Y'all get these crackers all kind of and everything you speak. You watch a TV show, it got to have at least 10, 15 crackers as the main character or you're not satisfied. Every time you go eat something, it got to have goddamn French or, 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 or English muffin or motherfucking Irish potato or it ain't luxury eating. You niggas is sick. Can't stand you niggas, man. Uh, I mean, it really getting to the point where this shit is disgusting. You know, I know our people are the greatest on them. I know this. Okay, I don't have to believe, nigga, I know, because I know based on our history. But you motherfuckers make it hard for a nigga to praise us on this dumb shit y'all be on. I mean, just pure ignorance. Like, goddamn, nigga, grow some nuts. Be a man about yourself. Be a woman about your motherfucking self. You know, I had I had these motherfuckers get mad, because, and I don't give a, you can be mad, bitch, I don't give a fuck, because I know goddamn well there wasn't no goddamn pale, I'm sorry, wasn't no black people running around with no straight, blonde fucking hair on their head in ancient fucking time. So you can be mad as you want, but goddamn it, the truth is the truth, you motherfuckers is, is imitating and mirroring white people, okay? Okay, I have to say that. Now, if you look at this photograph, this is a postcard from 1924. This is from 1924. Do you hear me? This is from 1924. All right. And you see this six silly ass cracker dressed up as a goddamn woman. Okay. And this is a mama. And when you go to Pittsburgh, see, they got that mama's. Day. That's what I hey, listen. I'm not going to go too hard on that right now because of the fact. Let me come on. I'm not going to go too hard on the fact on that because, you know, I got a whole uh, lecture. My bad. I got a whole lecture that's going to pinpoint. Uh, that mama shit and New York man, listen, cause they got people out there in Philadelphia that dress up like women and drag queens and shit, walking around them, and they dress up in black like this. These two stupid ass crackers here, they dress up in black face and shit, walking around the, the plate. You know what I'm saying? Now, 
with the Molly Maguires in Ireland. Now, see, they dressed up as women. You know, they were some transvestites. They dressed up as women and blackface and then went out there and committed crimes. And that's the same thing they was doing uh, in, in Pittsburgh. See, 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 the uh, in Pittsburgh, the, the steel corporations was, was finna let their ass go, but they would uh, threaten and, and shit. A lot of times they killed the motherfucking, uh, you know, the head of the, the, steel, the, the steel company. Killed his ass. Okay, they said it was like, I think like 20 executions and shit. They, it got so bad that the, they had to put some detectives in there to, uh, and you know, infiltrate they, they, you know, they circle and brought down the whole goddamn uh, uh, organization. See what I'm saying? But I'm just showing you the roots. Now, what, now the, the Molly Maguires, they came, I mean, like, nigga, this is a straight offshoot out of that mumming shit. Okay? This is the same thing. The, the Molly Maguire's is, a, is an extension of the Marmers because when the when the English and shit and the Germans had had the, the the Yule, they took it to them from Scandinavia to the Irish you know Irish places and shit, and they still do that. Uh, is it way sa not way sailing? It might be way sailing, and they do marmoring too. They do marmoring over there in Ireland too, so you can see where they got this shit from. Okay, now in medieval times, mumming had turned into an excuse for people to go begging and committing crimes. See, it was so bad that Henry VIII made a law saying that anyone caught mumming would face three years in prison. Okay, okay. Now, it's a singing Christmas carols was once a controversial and potentially dangerous practice. Listen, Arthur and historian Thomas Christensen, look them up, recounted how the carolers or way sailors and now, let me finish this first. Carolers or white sailors would arrive at homes unannounced and demand to be given the best food and drink. They were also threatened with violence and rape and destroy property. See, now, and, and you know that mistletoe and shit. We're going to get on the goddamn mistletoe. Now, the mistletoe, y'all think, oh, it's so sweet and romantic. We hold them in. We can all bitch that one. They used to rape them goddamn women. They used to rape them goddamn women. And let me tell you something else. At one point in time, if you had, it, 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 whatever you was in prison for, I don't get, you know, they go to jail or whatever. It could be some, some heinous crimes. If you just had the mistletoe and presented it to, uh, I don't know if it was a president or whatever the case may be at that time, then you got, you know, uh, 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 dismissed and acquitted from, you know, from being in jail. I, I'm trying to tell you, man. And they even said that these motherfuckers in the 1700s, these, uh, not Molly Maguire's, the uh, mummers, the mummers, you know, they come in and talk about, they sing songs about we here, open the door for we kick it to the floor. Uh, like I say, they they destroy your shit. If you didn't give them what they wanted, and even sometime when they did, when you did give them what they wanted, they fuck your shit up. They're way sailing. That way sailing ain't nothing but just drinking till you can't drink no goddamn more. You out there acting, you you drinking and 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 hollering and and you know you acting wild and shit. That's what the way sailing is, and that shit ain't changed, man. Ain't none of that shit change. Niggas are still way sailing. Niggas are still Christmas caroling. Niggas are still sitting their kids on Satan lap, aka Santa lap. They still worshiping that goat because if you worship Santa Claus, the you know, listen. Everywhere I go, my shadow go. So if if goddamn Krampus is a, is a shadow of Santa Claus, goddamn everywhere Santa Claus go, Krampus go. So if you sitting your motherfucking child. On that goddamn white man lap, you are sitting them on that goat lap. Okay, that's what it is. You niggas are still doing it. It's still going on to this day. You niggas are still worshiping Saturn. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Because you still on some Saturnalia shit. Y'all doing the same damn thing they were doing in Saturnalia. Okay, and, and you know this. That's just what it is. So, I, like I said, them way sailors and them they get drunk, get the singing, that crazy shit, been to knock your damn door down. They demanding, and they begging for money too. God damn it, they want money too. See, they didn't put, I didn't put that in there, cause, but they coming there, you gotta get in money, food, drink, or what, and like I said, if you don't, them motherfuckers be in your room, sh uh, shooting dice in the front room, fucking up the blind, they just, you know, they didn't give a damn. That's what it was, and that's why they had to ban that shit. They had to ban Christmas, cause it was a, 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 a old pagan ass holiday. Okay, and them damn Puritans too. See them Puritans over there. They stopped. Listen, the Puritans stopped uh, Christmas not only in the British colonies or uh, I mean the English colonies, 
But God damn it, even in the American colony, they said, man, we got to, no, we cut this shit out, okay? Even in the Americas, and I'm finna deal with all of it, okay? Now, so now, people don't even know, like I said, England banned Christmas in 1645 by Oliver Cromwell when his allies took over the country to stop corruption. Now, what is the link between Christmas and corruption? See, Charles II brought it back. American nationalists had Christmas canceled. It was forbidden in Boston from 1659 up until 1681. Okay, Christmas was reinstated after the American Revolution, but wasn't declared a national federal holiday until when? June of 1870. Okay, see, let me tell y'all something now. I'm going to tell you something. Truth is that which is consistent with fact and reality. If it is not consistent with fact and reality, nigga, that is not truth. Okay? Y'all got to get real with yourself. See, y'all go out there and, 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 like I said, you fall in love with the potential, but then you don't understand, oh, the white, you know, Santa Claus bring your presents and you got your kids worshiping this fat white man on the, in this red goddamn suit, red for the devil, okay, in this red suit and don't understand Yes, the morals and the story sound good, but that shit is a spiritual Novocaine, okay? That's to spiritually numb you so you can fall for more bullshit, okay? I, I, I'm, just, I'm just trying to help y'all understand, okay? Now, Christmas was viewed as pagan. Now, you know, what makes me say that? What makes you say that, Cliff? Well, according to these motherfuckers, that's what they that's what they said. You see what I'm saying? So now here goes the uh the what do you call it? The not, not the letter, but the, the I'm gonna just say the sign. The sign. So this is the public public notice. The I well, I don't know, obligation, I don't know what that is. Obligation of Christmas ha, has been deemed a sacrilege. See, see, they 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 said that Christmas wasn't even sacred, it's sacrilege. The exchanging of gifts and greetings, uh, dressing in fine, dressing in fine clothing, feasting and similar satanical look, satanical. See, satan similar satanical practice are hereby forbidden with the offend with the offender liable to a fine of five shillings. Okay, you have. Nigga, they call this shit satanical. Okay, okay. So, I mean, damn, what I'm saying ain't far removed. These motherfuckers even said that they said this damn Christmas is satanical. Nigga, this is in 1645. Man, say. Now, it was banned not only because of the tail scaring the shit out of the kids, but also because of the consumption. Before the Industrial Revolution and before modern consumer market, it was generally food and drink. Now it's more consumer goods, like you niggas with these Xbox and PlayStation and shit. See? See? And within 30 years of the first Christmas, which started in the 4th century, the Archbishop of Constantinople, listen, warned his flock against the perils of feasting to excess and dancing on this day. See? Cause the shit was corrupt. You got people. Listen, you got motherfuckers. Uh, damn, they're finna beat your door down, begging for money, food, and every, dem not begging, demanding money, food, and everything else. You know, shooting you. Man, just imagine this. You come from out your goddamn quarters. You know, you sleeping in the room. All of a sudden, you come outside to the front room. It's motherfuckers with masks and shit all in your house, shooting dice. Uh, getting freaky and shit. Men dressed as women and shit. You goddamn dough off the fucking hinges, you know. And niggas is singing and, and hollering and shit all in your man say. That's not no. That's not no children's holiday. That'll scare the shit out of some kids. They come out and see niggas with masks and shit talking crazy and drunk. That's not no fucking children's holiday. Okay, that's not. I I, I mean. I don't know where you get this shit from. You need to get your mind right. This shit is pagan. And, and just like them niggas in Ink Crime, well, nigga, this shit is satanical. Okay? You, niggas going with orgies and, and getting drunk out their motherfucking mind. You see what I'm saying? You, these goats and shit. You, 
You got the you got Santa Claus, like I say, Santa Claus who shoot down the chimney, and then you got these demons that also come down the chimney. You know, there's a fire over there. How the fuck did see that? Let you know right there that is the now. I don't know how Santa get down there and don't burn the shit out of itself. You see what I'm saying? But they let you know he's uh, a demon deity. See what I'm saying? One of them, and you know, over there in them cold areas, you gotta have that goddamn fire burning, or you might freeze to fucking death. Okay, it was damn near seeing for you to for the damn law, the Yule law to stop burning. See what I'm saying? So you got say uh, a Santa Claus as Satan Claus. That's what I'm gonna call it, motherfucker. Satan Claus, because that motherfucker is Satan. Okay, shooting down the chimney, shape shifting and morphing into shit. Yo, uh, you know what I'm saying? He know when all the motherfucking kids is sleeping when they awake. He don't never want to talk to the parents. The motherfucker only want to talk to the kids. See what I'm saying? He only, he only fooling with the kid. Now, man, come on now. Come on now. That's some sick shit. Now, what I want to do right now is I want to read some stuff off this, this inside. Now, because I'm showing y'all the sickness within these fucking, I mean, I don't care the stories or whatever, but that's just like, and before I get to this, I'm going I'm to just give you a breakdown on these stories and how they play a, a part on your mind. Now, you got Ebenezer Scrooge who wouldn't give up no money at Christmas time. He wasn't trying to buy shit. I'm not trying to hear none of that, right? So now you got the the uh, the the ghost of Christmas past and or whatever the fuck the ghost was. Basically, you had a ghost with a motherfucking hood on. Now, that's the Grim Reaper. The And Odin, which is Thor's daddy, another name for Odin is Grim. And Odin always got that motherfucking hood on. You can't never see what the motherfucker doing. He, you, you know what I'm saying? He be shape shifting and shit. That's why I say Santa Claus and he got that eight legged horse. Santa got the eight ranged. And that's another motherfucking version of Santa Claus and Odin and all of that. Okay. Now, now, but with these stories, okay, you got uh like i say ebenezer screws now the moral of that story what they're trying to say is that you gotta you gotta spend the money on that's basically what is that's what the shit is saying you you need to spend money and put and and, and fuel the economy because even when you go back to yule another reason why it was banned is because you had something called a yule cat and the yule cat will only kill the kids and the people who didn't get new stuff on on, on christmas so now, if you if, if you scared of dying by from not getting new shit on Christmas, what is that gonna force you to do? To buy shit all the time. You are gonna keep on buying and buying and buying it, but because you don't want to die. Now, when you that that same story with that same concept morphed into the the goddamn uh, Ebenezer Scrooge. So since the motherfucker wasn't spending money, you know the the, the ghost came fucking with him and shit, showing him that you know you don't have long to live and and these gifts and stuff is. Is good for people. See, that's that sleight of hand. That ain't got shit to do with no motherfucker. That's where the corruption come from. Okay? Now I'm finna read this. Y'all know about the Nutcracker, right? But let me show you where this shit come from. The Nutcracker Ballet is based on the 1860, hold on, 1816 story, The Nutcracker and the Mouse King by, there I go again, another goddamn freaky German. German author E.T.A. Hoffman. Now listen. It's say like in the original tale, a seven-year-old girl named Mary slices her arm open after being startled by a vision of her toy nutcracker coming to life. As she recuperates, her godfather, or whatever his name is, tell her the tale of a man cursed with the ugliness of a nutcracker by a heartless queen. Listen, when Marie eventually declares that she would love the nutcracker no matter his appearance, she is whisked away into the dark kingdom to marry him. The two are wed within a year of meeting, even though that would make Marie eight years old at the time of her marriage. There you go again, that, that child and that grown man shit. So you motherfuckers want to go, oh, the Nutcracker is such a classical bitch. Shut up. Sit the, see, you niggas just, everything that cracker do, you niggas want to talk about is classical and shit. Oh, it's, it's uh, uh, majestic, magnified. Bitch, shut up. Niggas need to just, I'm telling you, bro, some of you niggas need to go. I'm just keeping it a, a hundred fifty, my nigga. Some of you niggas, if you niggas is sitting listening to this bullshit, you know that it got some pedophilic roots, some, you know, just some, 
some deviant roots, and you niggas going to sit here and got the nerve to talk about it's classical. Oh, this is a great story. Oh, I, this is a tradition to tell my kids. Bitch, somebody need to take y'all ass out back and hit you with that deuce deuce. I'm telling you, because this is ridiculous. This is, ain't no way around this. Now, I told y'all niggas about them goddamn Christmas parties y'all be having. Listen, it's a Christmas hasn't always been celebrated on December 25th. We done not that. We not, it ain't got nothing to do with no damn Jesus Christ birthday. You silly ass niggas. Y'all niggas, see, for people to be so religious and not even know they motherfucking so-called holy days, you niggas don't know what the epiphany is. You niggas don't know, you know what I'm saying, what communion, the Eucharist is, who the fuck Ptolemy was. and I mean, damn, nigga, what the fuck do you know? You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, I forgot. It's just belief. You just going to believe your way out of your misery. Boy, I tell you the truth. Now, it say Christmas has not been celebrated on December 25th. That date of Jesus' birth was only officially decided more than 300 years after his death by who? We covered it, Pope Julius I. Before that, Christ's birth was marked on at least three different dates. Now, nigga, if he existed, okay, if he existed, there would not be three different dates for this motherfucker's birth, okay? Come on, man. Okay, March 29th, January 6th, and sometimes in June. That's okay. Conveniently, December 25th roughly coincides with the date of the Roman festival of Saturnalia and the winter solstice. Oh my goodness, there we go. There we go. According to Encyclopedia Britannica. Nigga, not not this is this is going back to the shit that they documented and made up. Not me. Okay, this ancient festival involved unrestrained drinking and role reversal between slaves and their masters. Schools was closed, crim and I don't know what schools they had, but criminals were allowed to run rampant. There you go. See, criminals just, and even on Christmas, you thinking everybody's holy and shit, and the wealthy were encouraged to give gifts to the poor in order to avoid robbery. Ebenezer Scrooge, huh? But see, robbery at that point was robbing him of his life. Wasn't right, you know, but even, you know, like, but when they say avoid robbery, you know, they gave gifts to the motherfucking murmur people who was running up on their ass. And then, bitch, you better give me something. You see what I'm saying? That's where this shit come from. Okay. Now, so now that's where the Christmas parties come from. Switching, you know, changing roles. The boss might become, see, the boss might act like one of the workers or give you uh, extended privileges or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, the wealthy, which is, I mean, it, it's just, this is the same thing. I'm not even going to go into that. It's the same thing. You know, you got the Yule Law. See, here we go right here. Now, going down the chimney is actually tied to dozens of scary supernatural legends. See? Santa isn't the only person thing that comes down the chimney in urban legends. Listen, as it turns out, Santa isn't the only one who can keep. Hold on. As it turns out, Santa isn't the only one who can creep into homes unnoticed via the chimney. There are countless European legends, and mainly German, that tell of both helpful and malicious supernatural creatures sneaking into homes through chimneys. Scottish the Ireland, see, over there, Scottish, Scottish, Ireland and shit, and English, see, Legends Tale of the Brownie, which is a helpful household spirit that enters and exits homes at night through the chimney. You know, and that's, and see, that right there is something serious because with the Brownie, you got uh, uh, Krampus, which turned into Black Pete, see? So, so the Black person was uh was formed out of the demon see so that's that racist shit right there you know what i'm saying and he'll go down there he was saying his help at one point and you, you know how that go man but that that just lets you know okay in the middle ages witches were also thought to pass into homes through the chimney like frau petra or uh griller them motherfucking them damn uh witches that'll cut your goddamn stomach open and and put stones and pebbles and shit all in there and take your intestines out. This is some sick shit. Now, I don't know nobody who want to tell their kids no shit like this and be expecting some gifts from their head. I don't want no gifts from nobody like that. 
Okay, you can keep you and your goddamn gifts wherever the fuck you at in the mountains or the, the wherever the fuck you at. You stay there. Okay, I don't need no bells, nickel, or no damn Santa Claus or no goddamn Krampus or no motherfucking uh, Frau Petrol or no goddamn Griller stepping up to me talking about do you need some mother? I don't want no gifts from you. I don't need no motherfucking gifts from you. Okay. So that's that on that. Now in Greece, goblins was called. I'm not gonna pronounce that shit. You can just I'm gonna just keep it there for a second. You can pause the video and you can, but I'm not gonna pronounce that. Goblins were known to crawl into homes through chimneys and terrorize families within, whereas in 19th century Pennsylvania, see, pales nickel or bells nickel, see, or slip down chimneys to reward good children with oranges. And, and I don't know where the fuck you getting some goddamn oranges in the goddamn snow. I, but I, you know what? I'm not going to deal with that. Down to, uh, ch to reward good children with oranges and punish naughty ones with a whip. Beat the shit out of them. And then I seen some of them with that damn Bell's Nickel and, and Satan Claws. That motherfucker with he cutting uh, kids. Man, matter of fact, let me. I'm not going to look at that. Uh, look up there. But it was one instance where Santa Claus killed some goddamn boys. And then, uh, what he he killed the ball and then brought him back to life. Let me see if I can find that for the family. Hold on. Oh, and that's why I was talking about that wanton, wanton. When they go out and do that murmurs shit, when they go sing and you call it a Christmas carol now, but wanton mean a sexually unrestrained or having many casual sexual relationships or cruel or violent actions. See, so they singing about cruel and violent. Sexual actions. Okay. Now I'm a hold on. Story of Santa Claus murdering. And if I can't find it, I you know I do murdering little boys and reviving them. I don't know. I forgot where I heard this at. Oh, there you go. There it is. Okay. There it is. Now listen, y'all. I <laughs> I came at the evil butcher, St. Nick. See, butch, uh, 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 oh, damn. It say B Bishop St. Nicholas. And, and ain't no damn saint. But see, even they showing you that them saints is evil. See, the St. Nicholas, they got that from the Santa Claus. And then, you know, it changed into Santa Claus and shit. Hold on. Let me, what the hell is this? Let me get up off of it. I don't know what, see, I'm just looking for one damn thing. Hold on. Got me all in this other shit. Hold on, y'all. Cause see, this is this I, this right here just kills the fact about Santa Claus being for the people or for kids and shit. This this just obliterates the shit. Okay, now, now I don't know what this. Hold on, is it? Where is the damn article at? Okay, they talking about you got to subscribe. I'm not gonna do no subscribing. No, we're not gonna do that. We are gonna do one of these free ones. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, now. Three small children were gleaning in the field as they worked and played. They wandered off into town, walking about and exploring. The children forgot the time. When it was late and the sun going down, the children were hungry, tired, and lost. They came to a lighted butcher shop, knocked and said, we are lost and hungry. May we eat and sleep? Oh, yes. Came to reply, do come in. As they entered, the butcher takes a sharp knife, cuts them up, and puts them in a large salting tub. Seven years pass. A knock comes on the door. Bishop St. Nicholas appears, saying to the evil butcher, open your large salting tub. The saint puts his hand up to the tub and, and appealing to God says, rise up, children. The children awake and stand up. Their family is joyful, welcoming. See, now listen. Let me, my bad friend. Now, now listen. Who the fuck is going to be telling their kids about some shit like this? What the fuck is going on? And see, that's why I said Santa Claus is a Satan Claus is a god. That nigga is not just no regular. Pro this motherfucker said, "What the what did it say?" The saint put his hands on the tub and appealing to God says, "Rise up, children." That sounds just like Jesus and Lazarus and them that that girl he rose up in the Bible. That's the same motherfucker. I don't give a. That's the same motherfucking story. Huh? Hold on. Let me see. Because I one of these damn stories said something about St. Nicholas did that shit. Okay? St. Nicholas was the goddamn book. And I'm telling you, I seen the damn picture when the motherfucker cutting out the the, the, the kid tongue. Y'all just gotta uh listen, I bring that shit up another time. I bring matter of fact, 
uh, on my New Year's one. I'm gonna go ahead and get all that information. I'm gonna make sure I put it on there for y'all, so y'all know because that well, Father Tom is Kronos, but uh, eat the New Year's it, it's because Saturnalia rolled over into New Year's and shit. So that's why I say whether you was Halloween, New Year's, Christmas, Saturday, you man, all that shit. Them niggas dressed up like demons and women and shit. That's why they got them festivals over here. They dress up like them demons and shit and women. And that's in all of their festivals. That's in all of them. Not just one all of them. Okay? So now we we, we clear on that. So now, family, I don't put in work. Okay? This part one of the two-part uh, Christmas series. This one is Saturnalia. The other one going to be about Yule. Okay? So y'all make sure. And I, man, I, I listen, I was going so hard and I've been so in the spirit, which just told me I ain't even stopped doing my promo break. Okay? So, family. You know, support your brother, okay? Because as you can see, man, listen, I'm talking about fi 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 fire, you know what I'm saying? That bitch is letting off, my nigga. I'm talking about 100 shots of some semi-automatics. Them hoes hot. Them shells hot than the bitch, you know what I'm saying? So when you go to my goddamn Patreon, when you go to my website, nigga, listen, I'm telling you right now, nigga, if you think this is on 10, man, say, I'm taking you to whole nother levels. We're going to hold up. See, I ain't got to worry about it on the website, YouTube, coming to take my shit down. You know, and we, you know, you're going to have to subscribe. You're going to have to subscribe, okay? Because, you know, if y'all can uh, support all these old crazy ass, uh, you know, Black Lives Matter and all these other old uh, off brand ass organizations who really don't have our best interests at heart, God damn it, you, uh, you damn it, you can support me. Okay, now I ain't, I'm not trying to break the family, but I'm just, we need to get into a habit of supporting our own fucking people. Okay, y'all go out there. Y'all talk about old oh, black people got the worst customers. You niggas go to a wild white restaurant, be the last family to get served. Okay, you ain't got nothing to say about the the white people. Uh, uh, rest. You know, you go out there. They 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 slow to serve you. They don't want to do nothing for you. But yet you go every motherfucking week. Take your ass out there to eat to these motherfucking restaurants. You go sit in these old bitch ass churches that don't teach you nothing. Listen, if you've been in church for twenty goddamn years. And you don't know no more than what you know from the first motherfucking year. Nigga, let me tell you something. You have been bamboozled, my nigga. You have been hoodwinked, okay? The wool has been pulled over your eyes, as Malcolm would say. And you niggas got to stop the bullshit, okay? You have to stop the bullshit. And you know, family, goddamn, I might have just been thrown off so hard. I didn't even think the answers, goddamn it. The, I mean, the master teachers. I'm thinking Dr. Bean. I'm thinking Dr. Clark. Drusilla Dungeon Houston, Sharshi McIntyre, okay? Uh, 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 the late great Francis Crest Wilson. I'm talking about Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, George GM James, Chancellor Williams. Uh, I, you know, all of the ones, not the ones who just come in and just, uh, you know, got some the little tidbits and they, you know, got some lies sprinkled in. Bitch, I'm talking about the people who went hard for us. The people who let me who, who who led me to get on this platform and speak my shit the way I do. And I know you niggas can't fuck with it. I know a nigga couldn't go against it. How I know? Because bitch nigga is the truth. Okay? Again, like I said, I'm here to exercise truth. Not no motherfucking tell the truth or preach. It. Bitch, I don't preach. I teach. Okay? All right? That's just, that's all the fuck it is. All right? So I put this, this Charlie Brown, because I know a lot of you niggas after this goddamn lecture is going to go to that window and you're going to have a hard look outside. Okay, you probably got the Charlie Brown specials on right now. You, you know, you're in a demonic spirit. You can't wait to go sit your kid on Satan Claus lap. Okay, yeah, and, and that's just what it is. But you niggas need to wake the fuck up out of this dementia y'all in, or else it's going to be a long road up until the leading goddamn uh, millennia. It's going to be another thousand motherfucking years where niggas is preaching some bullshit to kids. And then wonder why our kids is, is, is ADHD. Wonder why these motherfuckers can't formulate sentences. God damn it, wonder why they half ass crazy. Because, nigga, you sitting up here indoctrinating them with this old Roman Catholic bullshit. Okay? And then got the nerve to talk about it's of God. Man, listen, if it was a God and y'all was using his name in vain to back up some old orgy filled fucking festivals and some old deity that came dressing like women, nigga, I, if, boy, if God was, you motherfuckers wouldn't be here. Okay? It say don't use God's name in vain. Bitch, you talking about God dressing up as, as a cross dresser. He taking on the role as Dionysus and shit. You, you got to do me better than that now.
You got to do me better than that, okay? So, again, family, y'all make sure y'all support the brother on the roll and banner. I got that going. If y'all need to get with me, get, me, get with me on my motherfucking email. You know what I'm saying? Let's make a change. If you ain't talking about making no change, bitch, you just stick to these videos. You know, uh, have something to talk about because that's all you niggas, most of you niggas is, is reference niggas. Niggas don't want no change. They just want to intellectually masturbate and flex how much they know. Bitch, I'm about ch anything I'm coming on here to tell you about is to, it's to bring about change, not just because it's information. Bitch, I want you to stop spending money with these crackers. I want you to stop talking about a white motherfucking Jesus. On, I want you to stop talking about Jesus, period. Okay? This ain't got nothing to do with no motherfucking Jesus' birthday, okay? I'm going to leave you with that, family. I'm going to leave you with that, okay? Patreon coming soon. I said that before. I'm going to say it again. I got different tiers. If you balling on the budget, we got the lower tier for you. I got something for the family. If you, you know, middle person, you in that middle field where you ain't the deity yet, but you done passed the initiation stage, motherfucker, I got a tier for you. You know what I'm saying? We, we got, we working with different price ranges. If you're on that deity level, the highest tier, I got something for you. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to run that just like that, family. We're going to support each other because that's the only way we're going to see ourselves about this mess. So with that being said, family, I love you. Okay? Know the enemy now. Know the enemy. And until next time, Black Power.